I just got my hair brush, my water we go. Ooh! Oh god. Oh man. Oh. Let's trim that down a little bit. Oh man. The drum and bass is ultimately all the same, but I still like it. I really quite like uh, the drum and bass. Alright, so uh, going forward, I think a good idea for for lore streams is to uh, is to um, do a normal drawing and then just kind of commentate over it. That seems to respond better than making small sketches of people not really uh, getting the grasp of it. Ugh. Oh my. How is everyone? Is everyone hanging, booping, and banging? Oh, actually, don't be banging in chat. I'm not sure if that's quite sanitary. I just woke up from a particularly uh, long nap after eating a shit ton of pizza. <laughs> I feel like- I feel kind of like shit. I'm still waking up. Got cold water. Just brushed my teeth. So it's bad boy. Didn't do it earlier. Ah, uh, very nice. Right. So there are five elements that I want on the page. There's the Halopians, and I'll go more into detail when uh, a few more, a, a couple of more people uh, roll up. But I'll, I'll give the basics as I'm sketching the, um, I'm sketching the sketches, sketching the makes. Right here in the middle, I'm gonna have the uh, the Halopians. Those are the OG Wanderlings. Their home planet, uh, according to their name, is. Uh, Halope or Halope. No, I think Halope sounds better. Some of the names they have in, uh, 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 pronounced out loud. I think low stream lore streams are good for that as well. Low streams? How low? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh! Yeah, sure. So give that the save file. Make that the save file name. Thank you. There's nothing like the the Dushalians I've been drawing lately. I've been drawing a lot of Dushalians because I like their head shape. I'm looking up of a, a reference image I made what a couple of months ago. July I made way back in July. Holy shit! It's hard to think that more than yesterday I was drawing kerbals. Oh, let's draw some like uh, nice clothing as well, just to make it representative of the culture as well. better than that. What's up, goblin? You spamming birds? Birds? Oh, I can't cheer in my own channel, apparently. I don't care! I just want to spam birds! Oh, baby! Oh, man! Oh, bird! If you will. How's it hanging? How's it booping, bopping, and banging? Alright, let's give it another go. Oh! Birds! Oh! I love birds. I see birds, I, I point at it and go, BIRD! You see me at a dinosaur museum, I'll go, BIRD! BIRD! Honestly, I don't- 
I haven't. Hmm. <sighs> I, I'm a little bit miserable. Bunch of stuff in my fucking throat. Things are. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Things are. I'm pretty hyped. I'm well, actually, I'm hyped and a little bit frustrated. I'm I'm hyped that I'm done with all my uh, music composition stuff, but now I gotta. I thought it was settled on my saxophone piece, but uh, the players are being a little bit more stubborn than the. Like as a composer, you'll go up to. Uh, a player and go, hey, I think you're so, e I think you're epic, and I think you're really hot, and you have a big fat penis. Do you want to play for me? And they're like, oh my, oh, what an honor. Uh, but with the saxophonists, uh, they're, they're being a little bit resistant. I think maybe I need to be a bit more persuasive. Same thing with the strings, but it's a little different since I have like three gajillion, uh, so I have a string ensemble piece, uh, so I need like eight players for it, and it's kind of hard to get eight, it's one thing to get four players, that's already a, a hassle, but eight players, that's a logistical nightmare. Oh yeah, I, I should bring like a fucking bolt, like an actual flog. Oh, don't, don't flog me, that's not nice. Block the players! No, I'm sure they're they're extremely busy, but this isn't just any recital, damn it, it's my fucking senior recital. As far as I know, practice is going well for my other players. My pianist did like a full-on analysis of both of the pieces I'm having him play, which I didn't expect. I, I I didn't even think that he was gonna start practicing it until like fucking October, but he was like, oh the the dominant here goes to uh, this chord, and it, meanwhile, it's not even supposed to be a tonal piece of music, but I I appreciate him taking the time to, like, actually look at my music. And he actually asked me about accidentals, and I was like, oh my god, he's looking at the music! Ladies and gentlemen, he's looking at the music. And I'm, uh, I've been getting my clarinet ensemble uh, together, so that's good. Hey! Hey, hola! Hola, Mudinho. How are ya? I'm drawing the basic sketches of the five different inter- uh, interplanetary. They're technically an interstellar race, but I haven't really gotten that far in the lore. Oh. So I'm drawing the Halopians right now. They're kind of the, the basic bitch. The, um, the, uh, the, um, the, the, what's the, what's it called? The, the template, the template upon which the other, uh, other wanderlings are built upon. Mudinho, I feel like a piece of garbage after eating pizza. I ate two big slices, like the size of Jupiter, and I went, I did, oh, let me turn my phone off. I did a, a very bad thing. I, uh, um, I took a nap <laughs> after, immediately after eating them, and then I had the best nap of my life, and then the alarm went off for my stream, and I was like, no! I don't want to wake up, <laughs> but I, pr I would rather spend time with you guys than uh, take a little fucking nappy. But progenitor, thank you. They're kind of like a progenitor race, but they're still around. It's kind of like uh... Uh, yeah, I guess that's the best vocabulary that we could use. Oh, she looks like that that lady from uh, that. Oh God, it's called High Traffic or something. She looks like the lady. Heavy Traffic by Val. Yeah, by Bakshi. She looks like the lady from Heavy Traffic. 
Just from memory. It's probably not exactly the same. Yeah, I have to be careful what images I show, because it's a, an extremely... Uh, it's not the most classy movie. Yeah. Anyway, it, <laughs> I'm just thinking she has like the heavy coat. Uh, yeah, let's 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 give her a, a red. <laughs> let's just go all in. Oh, baby, that's very good. Anyway, that's a that's a halopian. Uh. My acid reflex is also kind of kicking my ass. There's phlegm in places that shouldn't be phlegm. Alright, then we have, uh, we have a version that represents the people of Apenna, which is kind of like Venus, and the people of Satyr, which is like Mars. They're kind of, uh, uh, no matter on which planet they're on, they're kind of a rather brash, uh, brash people. They got that Dushalian uh, thing, uh, eyebrow thingy going on. Maybe they're clo even closer related, more closely related to the Dushalians than they are with the Halopians. Oh, I should label these as well. What? Can you play music? Can I have music? It's like hope, but with an L-O in the middle. These guys kind of have a uh, longer set bodies. They almost look like we like Wonderlings already looked like uh, deformed humanoids. Uh, but these guys look even more so. Just because of their weird long torso. <gasps> oh! Oh, I know exactly what I should draw, actually. Or uh, what clothes I should put on this. We have to do the Grand Minister of Eve. Where is she? Oh, actually, let's do um, the highest of seer. To me is Halo. <gasps> Halo? P? <gasps> it does look like Halo P. <laughs> you probably mean uh, Halo P or ha hal Halo P. No. Okay, stop! Erase! Yeah, let's move your- uh, oh god! Let's draw a big black growth growing out of your face. Holy shit, lady. Holy shit! Oh, let's draw her angry. Probably an angry individual of any given race is probably not the best, uh... Probably not the best, uh... Uh, representative, representative. However, uh, it fits. Smudgy, make smudgeons. Oh, you better believe. It wouldn't be a little pipe stream without uh, without some smudging. Uh, so the uh, uh, here, where should I put the? Let's say. Uh, a penna? A penis? <gasps> Slash satir. I'm just gonna call them a, a penance. Or the apenne. I don't know what a, what a good adjective would be, but that's essentially their deal. Uh, that's the most vocal um, planet that the race has to uh, has access to, I suppose. Like, Satyr doesn't really uh, have anything to do. She's about to jack her jack? 
What do you mean, Jack or Jack? Like, Jack a car named Jack? She does look like, uh, she's about to punch someone named Jack. That's for sure. I'm a little scared. So what I am currently drawing is a high seer from a penna. Uh, the Appenna government has a lot of, uh, it's a, it's a matriarchy. A satir isn't, but a penna is. Uh, and they have various forms of uh, government based around religion. Uh, half around religion and half around uh, the military sciences, so to speak. Uh, because in a crucial development period for the planet, they entered this huge interplanetary war, uh, and the the, um, the the titles stuck over. What's up, Steven? We're just having a little bit of a lore stream. I'm kind of giving an overview of every race as we're making the sketch, and I'll go more into detail as we're uh, as we. Uh, 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 get to uh, each one. Lore. Lore, 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 lore. Yes. Yes. I'm a bit more prepared this time around. I'm trying with the lore streams. I'm always trying to see what works and see what doesn't work. Cause uh, sometimes things seem to it, seem a little bit more engaging, while other times it, it kind of falls flat. So I'm seeing how this works. Ooh, yeah. You can't have a matriarchy with long flowing dresses, you know, and uh... I kind of like to see my legs, but... Uh, I guess I could make a, an outline of them under the... Yeah, this could be like a transparent... Chappie? Oh, that that uh, movie? I saw your, uh, your artwork. I thought it was pretty cool. I haven't watched the movie. I heard of it way back when it came in theaters. Or came out in theaters, rather. Turn your fist uh, a degree here. Um, I feel like the uh, the appendant or the uh, let's say the, uh, the I don't know appendants sounds so weird. A penis? The appendants are warlike, but not in the same way that the Dushalians and the Karatans are warlike. They're kind of more obsessed with the idea of war. But it's it's kind of like how the Cold War worked with uh with um uh it, it's kind of like how the Cold War Cold War worked in the 1950s. Like it's just like oh, I'm I'm gonna make war. What are you gonna do? And everyone's like, oh shit. Well, I'm gonna make war. That's kind of what the uh, Appenins have done. Transhumanist soul. What's- what's that movie about? Because I'm a transhumanist. If you liked it, then I'd probably love it. Oh. Oh! Holy moly. These horns are not part of their body. Um, ranking um, governors, uh, ranking officials, I should say, in uh, a penance society where these huge ornate diadems made out of pure lead and silver. Uh, and it's supposed to be at, like modeled after bamboo because it's kind of like a, it's matriarchy plus the like a Chinese aesthetic plus um, like Western dystopia. You need a matriarchal society where a man needs to be naked and do workout. Wait, I think I know that. 
Mudinho, I think I know exactly what RTS you're talking about. Is it from a tribe called the Amazons? Like, the men don't even get attacked by animals? Because I think I saw um, a Seth Seam Touch video like that. I fucking love this song. I would also love to rip off my arm so I could have like a robot arm. Maybe not my drying arm until technology becomes uh, proficient enough to replace it. But like definitely I'd get rid of this, I'd get rid of both my legs. Uh, I, I would get rid of my fucking skeleton if I could. I would love to have like a, a, a cephalopod like body, tentacles and all. Cop bot games and games? <laughs> it's raised by criminals. <gasps> yeah, I just wanted to look angry. That's that's the most important part. Oh, she looks so cute! <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't really my intent, but I'll take it. Unlike Duchalins, they only have like one little spike. Like if I could transfer my consciousness to a robot body, that would also be pretty pretty good. Like man. I feel like I'm not asking for a lot. I just want an epic robot body. Okay, let's still do head a little bit. There's actually two societies on Epena uh, where the matriarchy belongs to the clouds while the um, While the, uh, there's a tribal society that exists on the surface. Because it's like Venus, you know, it's... They colonize, they terraform it, actually, is the correct term. But they didn't quite... It's not super hospitable. The main bits that inspired me for the game, though. For the broken machine awakening, and the fact that it only had a couple of days before it died. I would really quite... Because it's like a, a timed mode, essentially. Find a way to transfer your consciousness or die. C-Lab? I've never seen C-Lab, but I've seen... Um, It was the weirdest fucking thing. I was listening to Brazilian music, and I saw this music video where the characters from C Lab 2021 were singing um, Aquas de Marcho, or Marco, or you know what song I'm talking about. Epa, e pedra, e pita comigno, e pechita torch. Where am I? Oh, I think it's in downloads. Downloads? Mr. Streamer, are you downloading illegal porn on your phone? But I'm not sure if that was an actual episode. I'm pretty sure not. Yeah, let's do these on different layers so I can move them around whenever I want to. so angry if you could get a robot body like if it's if it's like a 70s retro future um, uh, thing that I do not want a robot body 
Oh wait, the the music video. Because it's like, oh hey gang, let let's sing a song with our Brazilian friend. And I was like, wait, what? And the voices are completely different after they start singing because they're using a recording. So I had I didn't know it was like a actual thing. I could see how they would get confused though. Fucking normies. Goddamn, I got these normies. Let's see. That's a good. Oh, oh, hold on. The Ice Mage. Yeah. I love this clothing. Let's draw an actual Lushali. None of this pussy. Yeah, let's make you even smaller. You're taking up too much fucking room. You got a big ass long disgusting body. What's wrong with you? I might actually make the, the canvas long. So we can kind of uh, grasp more about their places in the solar system. Giant burger? I want a giant burger. I'm jelly. I'm giant. Uh, giantly jelly. Although I did have a pizza for lunch, I can't be- I can't complain too much. I feel- I still feel kind of like shit after eating it though. Yeah, well, we'll fix the canvas after- here. Uh, let's have everyone be on their own separate layer. That way, it'll be easier to move each thing around. Oh! Nope. There you go. Right. So this is a penna. Yeah, that'll work. Very good. This is Duchelle. And this is Halloween. Hello P A B C one two three baby Hello P. There we go. Now we have all the fucking room to. to hello. Let go. Oh my god. The Dushalians are kind of uh, short and stout. Here are their handles. Here are their spouts. You would think it would be different because they're from planets with low gravity, but they can't really grow that. At least native Dushalians can't really grow that well because uh, even though now they're adapted to eat meat, um, ancestrally they were vegans, like a veg they were a herbivorous rather species. It's kind of like how pandas evolved to eat bamboo. They, they can do it, I guess, but it's not the best thing uh, for uh, most bears. God, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe if I, if I start banging my chest like a fucking ape. Something useful will happen. The, uh, the Dushalians are huge users of magic, which actually does exist. In this, uh, in this fucked world. <laughs> oh my god. I wish there were a way to not get all stuffy after a meal. Yeah, they got a big gut. Oh my god, you look like a cereal- oh my- stop it! You look- you look like you're all cracked out! Oh my god! Holy moly. But y'all know the deal about Dushalines. They're mean, they're lame. They're a little bit isolated from the rest of the solar system. Oh. 
It is a diamond head. You're right. Uh, no, actually, uh, Mr. Goblin, it, it's a fucking octahaco suckacacohedron. <laughs> I'm stealing that. That's my, uh, that's my new pickup line. Oh yeah, he actually is giving the bird. He's like, ah, blah, 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 blah. No, he's supposed to be doing magic. <laughs> bird? <laughs> it's so sick, bird. No, he's supposed to be, uh, doing something like this. And there's, uh, I'm gonna draw him conjuring eyes. It's gonna be epic. <gasps> it has. <laughs> oh my god. Now that deserves applause. I know I just played the applause button, but come on. That's so fucking funny. The second cockroach has 69 sides. Oh my god. I didn't know you graduated math college. That's that's one of the, the last things you learn. So it's we, we kind of we in the we in academia actually use that as a as a way to prove that you passed uh, maths college. So most people on Dushal, uh, they dress kind of like fucking cavemen or don't wear anything at all. Uh, but in cities and towns, they have kind of like this Greco-Roman thing going on. So, uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna go for here. Because the Greco-Roman aesthetic is pretty fucking epic looking. And I think it would be cool if Wanderlings dressed like that, too. Even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm gonna talk about how, uh, aesthetic plays into uh, into the wanderling design cuz there there is a not a pattern but it's uh, it's like a consistent aesthetical thing god he looks <laughs> oh yeah that's true yeah that is what that's supposed to be they don't have testicles, but I guess a codpiece, uh, uh, it protects the cloaca, you know what I'm saying? If a man loses his cloaca, uh, it's a bad thing, in it? I just kind of stole things that looked good on, uh, human Greco-Roman soldiers. Not a lot of foresight into what exactly, what it meant. What did they mean? Gotta have a canteen, because it's a desert planet. <laughs> uh, Dushal actually does have a huge fucking ocean on one side. I would love to uh, design a world map for Karada and Dushal, because uh, it's been a while since I've done that. And I have a pretty uh, strong idea about what I want. Just haven't had the time to do it yet. This weekend, I'm actually planning on doing another animation. Something a little bit more involved. Oh, you think if a woman loses her cloaca? I, I also think that's bad. <laughs> I lost my cloaca in the war. Can't poop, can't piss, can't shit. Oh. <laughs> Perfect time. What's up, dude? What's up, Imperialist? If it, is it fine if I just call you Imperialist? What's going on, my brother? Mi amigo. Mi hermano. I'm drawing the different uh, races for my world building project here. Actually, let's put you two on top of each other. <gasps> Mr. Streamer? Oh, I'm an amigo, my friend. I'm a boy, but. I'm doing alright. Let's see. Yeah, because the appendants are supposed to be fucking tall. Solo vo videos. You're watching alone? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
I'm more uh, familiar with Spanish instead of uh, Portuguese. Oh my god, it's Shinji from Ivica! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! It's Shinji. Oh shit. Oh, it's Shinji. Oh baby. Uh, but in the places where uh, the locals actually do wear clothes on Dushal, uh, they bulk up because I mean it's it's fucking Mars. It's basically just terraformed Mars. Oh, yeah, you gotta have that crazy fucking hair going on. Wow. That looks so cool. Yeah. It has the 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 D, so it looks like Delu shell, but it's Du shell. I figured a, an anglicized version of it uh would have a Oh, my heart burns so bad. I might get some milk soon. Let's see, what's next? Oh, the, uh, oh, I know exactly. I will call you Pantaloni. You better not call me Pantaloni. I know what that means. That's, you know, it's fine as long as you call me Senor Pantaloni. That's okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Giant bulk? What's fidio? Fid fiddle eo these balls. <laughs> got him. Oh yeah, we just got done with the uh, the Duchalian. I have an idea. I my fellow Americans, I have a dream. I have a dream. Oh! Oh yeah, I have a dream to move the canvas around like a fucking dickhead on Christmas Eve. Oh, oh, actually. No, let's do these guys first. So this is pantaloni. It's like your pants. Or it could be your underwear. That's what I think pantaloni means. Oh, you do <laughs> It is a funny word, I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, it's Mexic- oh! Oh, this looks good. Are you eating it with anything? Or just the noodles? Ooh. Gotta- <laughs> Mexican dishes always gotta have the, the lime, of course. I need to put more uh, lime into my, um, into my food. This noodles and burger. Oh god, what was it called? Viper, I think it was called Viper, because the other planets are called Faith and Nerith. Oh, 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 we're banging now. My favorite soup. My, my favorite soup, I want to say it's just boring old chicken noodle, but I went to a Japanese rinse, <laughs> restaurant. I went to a Japanese restaurant a couple of years ago in my... I think it was one of the cities near my home city, but... It was like a, an authentic Japanese restaurant. And their miso soup, it was just like a boring miso soup, but it was the best soup I've ever had. It had like substance to it. I, I really liked the tofu pieces. From homeland that I will never visit again. A sad truth, or uh, an, an inevit inevitability. So these guys, they're the, uh, they're the Viperians, and they are the fucking weirdest of the of the Wanderlings. Like I, I, I fucking mean it. Like these guys are fucking weird. They, their eyes glow in the dark, uh, and they have like these weird. 
pseudo-human bodies, and they have long legs, and they live for like hundreds of years. You hate that place? More power to you. I've never had any experience with Mexico. I didn't even know that uh, you uh, you were ever there. That's a really cool opportunity. Maybe one day I'll go uh, outside of this country. Yeah, let's fix your, uh, your body. Oh my god! That's fucking horrible. Yeah. I've, uh... I, I... I don't know if I should say anything, because, I mean, I don't have any experience with that country. But I'm really sorry that you and your family had to go through that. Your personal experience is one thing, but whenever they start, uh, bringing your family into it, that's fucked up. I feel like normal wanderlings, that's kind of like the no lewd territory. But when you get into the, the Viperians, it's like, huh. And they're also, uh, they're basically just a huge race of twinks, the Viperians. Oh, I could also sketch their uh, planets to give you guys more of an idea about what their homeworlds look like. Yes, please! Absolutely, you got it. Just for you, King. You know, I wasn't gonna do it, but then Stephen was like, Please, Mr. Streamer. And I just can't let my boy down. He means too much to me. Okay, let's fix your fingers. <laughs> One of my biggest weaknesses is drawing two, like, two hands with five fingers each on people and then drawing each finger a different fucking thickness. Just make it consistent. There we go. That's all you had to do. It's that easy. But yeah, they have like the the Viperians have these weird, um, like elongated bodies. <laughs> uh, they also eat like once every couple of days. You're right. Who does need fingies? You don't need fingies as long as you have talons, right? Is that how that works? Or uh. Actually, I probably would, if I could just go to the uh, to the tropical rainforests of, of South America and just spontaneously transform into a bird and not have to worry about human society anymore, I'd take it. But if I just had to, like, uh, keep living in human society, I would keep my fingies. Fingies are pretty useful. So the thing about the outer solar system is that, um, oh, I love this kid, okay, is that uh, they have a mafia out there. You are just so, I want to kiss you on the cheek and grab your cheeks and go, <clears throat> he needs a kiss and a hug and I want to hold his hand. I said it. Even though he is a dirty, disgusting, slimy. Uh, and they kind of dress like 1930s gangsters. <gasps> is that the Pizza Hut symbol? <laughs> it was just supposed to be a fedora. I'm trying to look up of uh, an old character design I had for a Viperian. <laughs> I don't know why that's so fucking funny to me. 
you could pass. You know, I've only heard your voice a couple of times, but I do concur. I'm I'm actually quite jealous of your voice, Steven. It's smooth, it's rich, it's nice, deep and warm and resonant. You could be an audio you could be an awesome audiobook narrator. I ain't playing, fool. It's a good voice. I, f I have the range, but I don't have the, the timbre. I would like my- I wish my voice could be just slightly deeper outwardly. Far less nasally, but... Other than that, I'm happy with it. Oh, actually, let's make you look a little bit more like a beetle. Like an early beetle. I love the Beatles, man, and I go on Twitter. www.twitter.com and I see people shitting on the Beatles, and it really makes me angry. <laughs> I feel like after streaming for a little while, I've gotten pretty good at uh, being able to read things in a in a in a clear. Uh, way in a. Oh, I'm failing words. Oh, this needs to go more towards the center. <gasps> Willow's Eve has followed. Welcome, Willow's Eve. Welcome to the stream. How did you find us? I'm uh, mostly a traditional artist, but I've been doing a bunch of digital art lately. <gasps> Burb! Oh, I think it is time to spam the bird. You're right. If you got burbs, spam them in chat for a new friend. Oh, I love the birds. No one, nobody ever compliments. Well, that's not true. There was that person who said they liked my accent. Yeah, I feel like that- I, I like that you use the term fetishization because it is fetishization. We far uh, over-romanticize the British accent over here in the States. Hello! How are you doing this evening? I'd love to hear- I'd love to hear your little stories. We're drawing games. <gasps> My toucan character? That's the Jane Beat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we actually have a... Let's see, I think it's Pet Pie. We have the Bra Beak. Oh yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I will be honest, Stone, I was expecting it to to be, like, posh. Oh yeah, Pet Pet! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, you're gonna give him a concussion. But he loves getting pet. I'm going over the lore of a. Uh, so these guys are called wanderlings, and they're essentially green frog people. Uh, and I've been making a bunch of lore uh, about. I just want to hug him. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh yeah, let me uh, move these other guys around. These other. Uh, uh, characters are more or less character studies, but they're uh, they're the different kind of planets. Uh, yeah, we have the the Halopians. They're kind of like the the basic progenitor race of the different wanderling races. They're not, they're kind of like subspecies at this point because they're so far distantly related. We have the Dushalians, and they're like a war-bound species. We have the Apennins, and the Satyrians. <laughs> uh, and they're, uh, they're a gruesome people as well. And the, the Viperians right here, I haven't uh, labeled them yet. They're kind of uh, gangsters, that's their aesthetic. Every planet has a different aesthetic, which I'll, uh, I'll go over, I'll draw the planets and the moons. What's your favorite one? Oh, yeah. 
This is Steven's favorite wanderling. This guy's name is Corby. And he's a Karan man who is obsessed with technology and robotics. And he wants to rise up uh, and perhaps wage a war on nature. Only time will tell to see how Corby's story will unfold. Uh, Corby actually spent up all of his life savings to buy this uh, expensive foreign hover bike. And this is his dog, Spot. And he built Spot all by himself. And look at that polish. Corby must have put a lot of. Like, even with the bike, too. That thing looks brand spanking new. Lurking while I cook. You better tell us what you cook, dummy! I love hearing about food. I love food. Ooh. Oh! We need to stretch. It's about time we do a stretch. Oh! <laughs> Rip my hair out. Oh. oh god. Oh no. I'm so excited for the weekend. I'm gonna make cinnamon rolls tomorrow. I'm gonna hang out with my friend, get groceries. Uh, hopefully get a rehearsal together. I'm gonna start doing my animation project. Mm. Oh, God. <sighs> Eating too much pizza is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, of course you are. Wait, based? <laughs> Did you guys know, if you rearrange the words, uh, if you rearrange the letters, uh, sorry, in the word biased, you can actually get the word based, like, that's how it works, like, logarithmic, whatever. There goes my stupid, Bruh. dumb fucking idiot joke. I'm a stupid, dumb fucking idiot, and I can't change it. Anyway, yeah, uh, short and short, the Viperians are fucking weird. They're just weird. And they kind of act like robots, too. Oh, oh, he's juking? Oh god, he is jiving. And I said, uh, what's the deal with, uh, fucking... <laughs> What's the deal with Pussy? <laughs> anyway. Unfunny joke aside. And then the final... Uh, oh, it's Ramiel, right. The final race. I don't know if I should use the term race. Because I feel like each planet would have it then its own races. But race is just a social construct. While well, this is like phys physiological differences. But I don't want to say species, because they're all wanderlings. That's like calling different kinds of humans different species. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. So that's why I've been using races, but it both feel wrong. Yeah, I feel like species would theoretically be more appropriate, but it feels wrong. Subspecies? That sounds slightly better. But then there's like the, it, uh, that's a loaded, <laughs> that's a hor horrific, it has whore, horrific implications. It's, it's got what in it, Mr. Streamer? Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. I am a dummy. I, 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 we have the Romelians and the Ar I almost said the Argonians. Yeah, technically we could define any of those words to mean whatever I want them to mean. But that, that won't uh, mean that nobody will take it out of context. <laughs> so the, uh, so the Romelians are they kind of look like normal halopians, but they're just like more soft. Soft, you say? 
Like, I would use a pentagon to draw the bodies of both clades. That sounds- that sounds way fucking cooler. I know what a- what a taxonomical clade is. I don't know if I would, uh, use that in, uh, normal theory, but I think that's perfect for this. And it sounds really fucking cool. They kind of have a- like a, an an- a cartoon anime thing going on. Because they have just, like, soft, fleshy- <laughs> looking bodies instead of more sharp looking joints is that a booby <gasps> one bird can't make a pun but <laughs> two can <laughs> So there's a planet, uh, in my- in the lore called, uh, uh, Arkunt. I'm not sure about the pronunciation quite yet, but, uh, that's why I said Argonian, so I'm like, that's- <laughs> That's not right. Whoa, whoa! R2-D2? Wait, did I say something about R2? My good- my good friend, my amigo, the blue bandit? Whoa! Let's fix your leggies. Oh god, don't you hate it when you just wake up and your leggies are on wrong? Whoa! Whoa! Oh god. Oh god, it looks like a- like a- like a pincher is of a bug. Oh, that's disgusting. Put those away. Put that away, sir. Train- <laughs> Transhumist issues. You don't even know the start of it. Actually, you do. You are a transhumanist, just like me. Steven, when I take over the world, I'll be sure to reserve a spot for you in, a, in the first batch of consciousness uh, uh, transfers. We gotta hit the, uh, the, the robotics production facilities first. We gotta have a hand up in the war. So I'm, uh, I'm drawing Charisse, which is uh, uh, one of the, the characters I was talking about a couple of days. Actually, a couple of weeks ago. I forget, time- I was expecting the school semester to be like, trudging by. But I keep thinking, it's like, oh, it's September 3rd, right? And it's the fucking 17th, like- <laughs> What the fuck did that happen? Um. Oh yeah, they kinda- so the Wanderlings kind of have this weird human face thing going on. Like, all the other Wanderlings, their eyes are, like, sticking out of their fucking noggins. Like, because they're frogs. But that's not... Like, it like it does pop out of their heads, I suppose. But it's not, like... It's not as prevalent as the, uh, as the other clades. I'm going to start using clades. You're really smart, Mr. Steven. Stevenson. Oh, she looks so fucking clumsy. I want to hug her. Is that a good thing to want to hug every single thing that you draw? I mean, I guess so. And I, I want to say that Romalian Wanderlings, the Romalian aliens, <gasps> what aliens? Uh, they don't have toes like the uh, the Apennin clade. They have one single toe, but well, it it looks like one toe, but it, you know all of their 
fucking bones, their metatarsals are fused together. And it's the same thing with the, uh, with the Romilians. They don't appear to have any toes, so they just got these, like, weird, <laughs> squishy appendages. Oh, guys, Wodinia has a cool, uh, toucan fact. Did you? Did you know that the collective noun for a group of toucans is bloody hell? That's a lot of toucans. Anything. Anything. To become a part of the RKI. <laughs> We've all noticed, like, that is the most offensive fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to look up a picture of uh, Miss Sheree's. Cherise is such a little fucking cutie. Oh, I need to find OG Cherise. I drew her once perfectly, and I have not been able to redraw her. <laughs> what matters? I was gonna say I tried, but I really didn't. Meanwhile, Stone was like. Do it again and I'll shoot you instead. That's not what his voice is. <laughs> I don't know why. I always go straight to the camp gay voice whenever I'm being dramatic. Borg. That's smart. To uh, eat the burger first, because a cold burger is worse than cold soup. The, the Romelians overall, they kind of have, um, they have my absolute favorite aesthetic. It's the same aesthetic as ROJ. It's retro future, 1970s, 60s, uh, not really 80s or kind of maybe late 50s perhaps. Uh, but it's also got like that campy, gay, uh, like French slash Polish slash Turkish thing going on. Oh wait, no. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -da -bum. She needs to put on some clothes. <gasps> oh my god, Mr. Streamer is trying naked slimies on stream. Uh oh. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I suppose that the uh, the soup would be boiling still because it's a liquid, right? Liquids tend to hold heat better than solids. Solid. I'm in here in my garage sitting next to my Ferrari. I'm talking about solid. So that's why in ROJ characters have like weird, bizarre ass names like. Shemshil looks like Premsil, but it's pronounced like Shemshil, like Boage, Kilion, like those are, you know. Oh, I guess your pl plasma holds on the heat really well. Whoa, nice crafting! <laughs> the ad? Oh, what ad? Is Twitch making you watch ads? Sometimes ads make me really angry. Like when I'm trying to raid someone and I'm not subscribed to the person I want to raid, it's like I just have to fucking sit. Oh, oh, I didn't know that was an ad. I thought it was just some douchebag talking about how rich he is and how smart he is. Guess, guess a fucking douchebag. That's so stupid. Yeah, I do want to break that guy's news too. He sounds like a fucking asshat. <laughs> I'm glad you realized what I was referencing. I didn't know anyone in this chat was gonna get the joke. <laughs> oh no 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 no, she doesn't have eyelashes. When I was originally um, designing Cherise, and this is when they were still Kerbals, um, I 
Uh, where am I? I wanted her to be a trans woman. And back then, I was thinking that, uh, like... See, so you know how in some media there's, like, male and female differences? And people think, oh my god, that person's trans because they have, like, male characteristics, but they're a woman! Oh my god! And I feel like uh, it was cool to do the same thing for Wander- or, uh, yeah, Wanderlings. Let's call them Wanderlings. I hate the K word so much! Oh my god! Um... But then I was like, you know, uh, let, let's do something a little bit more subversive these days. Here in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I know, yeah. Who, the, who actually, like, buys... Oh, gross. Who actually buys into a... Uh, the idea, oh wow, this this man is so attractive. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into Dark Side Phil with all this working and hooting and hollering. You know, it's hard to draw characters with hair like this and have it not look like a penis. It is so difficult. Immediately, everyone lurking tapped over like, penis? It looks like a penis? What? Did someone say penis? Right. Oh, fuck. I wasn't... I had to go beep, beep, beep all over again. Technically, this isn't... Uh, technically, this isn't representative, representative of a uh, Romelian clothing. But Sharice looks very kawaii in her uh, exploration gear, so I'm gonna drop her in her exploration gear anyway, so fuck you. <gasps> That's true, right? Like, I feel like it's for show. But that's such a wasteful thing. Like, if I were a millionaire, I would be like, I'm gonna spend it on my community. And I'm not, I'm not saying that for uh, the bogus internet points. Like, I, I legitimately don't see how someone could have millions of dollars and uh, not help their community. Granted, I would put a ton of that money uh, into my own retirement fund, but... I wouldn't just immediately let it all go to waste. I need to fix your hair. At least with... It's kind of hard to to draw hair on Wanderlings, because their they're base... Their base? Base thing... Uh, is that they have like a circle-looking head. There we go. Oh, that looks way better. It's not t technically her uh, her haircut, but it looks good, so that's all that really matters. So we're not here for 17 fucking years! Oh, that looks so fucking cute. I want to hug her. Alright. So let me uh, put all my ducks in a row here. Change the canvas. We need to make it long. Or wide, if you will. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, 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 not height. No, sir. Wait, no, fuck, that was the right option. I'm an idiot. Make this. Yeah, I don't think we even need that much. Let's see. Viper. Viper is the tallest one. Oh, no, we do need more. Fuck. Shut! Re! Re, re, re. All the way home. There we go. That's more than enough. Alright, so let's put the... 
Oh, actually, let's make sure everyone is kind of shaped semi-appropriately. Na 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 na. Thick kanbasu. You better believe. What? Stop it. Where are these around? Okay, then this. Wow, there, there's some nice height for rarity, actually. Make this uh, slightly bigger. Alright, that's good. Right, put them in order now. We got the uh, satyrs. Hello? Here we go. The satyr uh, appendants at the, uh, at the uh, start of the list. Then we have the halopians. I'm gonna put them semi close together. Then we have the dushalians. And technically, uh, there is an asteroid belt, just like with the normal, or I guess the our solar system. Oh my god, it's so tiny! <laughs> I'll never be the Earl of Sandwich. It's a sad day. Oh, the Romalians are pretty small too. He's a small little froggy. He's a small frog, short and stout. Oh my god, it, it's like, um... It's like a what, what's it called? Uh, it's a it's a it's a parabola of frogs. <laughs> I remembered a mathematical term from high school. Let's fucking go. Right. Uh, oh, uh, the the canvas. Actually, um, let's merge this layer. We'll call that sketch. And then move that. Actually, move the. Uh, actually, make the canvas slightly uh, bigger. I can't wait till we actually uh, start scrutin' and scrotin' and skeekly boppin', if you know what I'm saying. Cause I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, it'll be scrutin' and scrubbing and slobbing my knobbing. It'll be epic. <gasps> thanks for the, thanks for the pit pads, my pit man, my mit, my mit map, my whatever. I appreciate the pit pads. <laughs> I just- I just want to hug him. Alright, now here's where we're gonna go into a bit more detail. Hold on, let's uh, I need- I need more water. For the people who are new here, you can check out this other art boy. You get more sippies, I'm dying of deep deep hydration. Remember to hydrate. Oh, I already feel so much better after sipping just a little milk. What's this? 
Oh, oh, fuck. You better fucking believe that's the best piece of art in existence. I thought it was just supposed to be a 20 minute adventure, but I was so enamored. It, it looks so fresh, so slick. I want to hug him. It looks so soft, like I could just like touch it and it's the softest thing ever. It could be like Tiggy here. Like that's how big this fucking bird would be. I was gonna do a bit where I was gonna like punch Tiggy, but I don't want to punch him. He's a nice boy. <laughs> oh no, Tiggy. Oh no, they can't see you, Mr. Tiggy. Oh god, he's like... <laughs> He's staring right at the fucking screen. He, yeah, he does kind of have that soul to slip to him, doesn't he? What matters is that he gets to enjoy the stream. Uh, no, actually, I can- oh! Pull up the, uh, the reference sheet that I sent into Budsies. Oh! Oh, my computer was lagging. Oh shit! Oh no! Computer crash. Where is it? I think it is this one. Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn on the proper colors. Oh, wait. No, they, yeah, you can see it. I wanted a, a pretty... Uh, I've been drawing a lot of cartoony Jade Beaks, but I feel like this is a... It, like, it's not realistic. I mean, it's a fucking- it's a jade beak, but it's, uh, it's, like, semi-realistic, and that's what I wanted. Because it's about- it's gonna be approximately life-sized, you know? And I think it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, I hope the- the artist at Budsies kind of- this- the front view was so hard to draw. Like, I- I was already redesigning- like, redesigning the jade beak so that it could be, um- it could be more, uh, like, I wanted to have a ton of fluff on it, but I wanted it to be just, like, flat pieces. Um, and when you, when you want to put, like, a bunch of fluff on a stuffed animal, it goes through the wash once and it becomes, like, permanently fucked. So I just wanted, like, flat, soft, smooth pieces, and I think that's gonna make it uh, last longer as well. I know, I want all the jade beaks. Oh, Steven, did you see the, uh, oh, I don't know where it would be. Did you see that, um, well, hopefully I can find it. I drew a different subspecies. Oh, actually, I can go on www.twitter.com. Oh, wait. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys can't see my window, because I have a ton of furry porn on my Twitch. Or on my, oh god, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> on my Twitter. Oh god, not on Twitch. No furry porn on Twitch. No, sir. No furry porn here. I promise. Where is it? Bum ba dum bum bum bum. Oh, oh, Mr. Streamer. So you mean that you have all the furry porn on your Twitch? I see what you are saying. No! Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm, I want to make sure there's no shenanigans. It's just showing you the birds. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Here we go. Right, you can see that. So, uh, the other day I was just kind of sketching, and uh, I wanted to see like different uh, jade beak subspecies. Because the other day, the other day, I think it was potato, or several weeks ago, right? Yeah, September 9th. <laughs> a, a couple of, no, a week, whatever, you know what I mean. A very long time ago in bird time. I think it was potato. Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck is this music? Spam those birds. You have my full permission. You can spam the bird in chat and you won't even get in trouble. That's the one kind of spam I will consent to. And um, I, I was showing chat, like, the alpha version of the Jade Beak, like, before I came to the design. 
You can spam, you can spam police cars if you want. As long as there's birds in the police cars. Bird police. You haven't spammed birds in 25 minutes. Do it now. Or surrender your rights to live. Anyway, uh, and I thought it would be, I was sketching different, uh, J-beaks, because, uh, the chat was like, oh, it would be so cool if you, like, redrew the, the alpha J-beak, and I was like, that, that would be cool. So this is, like, a, an oriental, like, gold beak. <laughs> it's still a J-beak. Uh, here we have the OG, or, classic, the, the modern J-beak. Uh, you know, it's simple. It's got a nice jade beak. It's just... It's good, you know? You know what I'm saying? And then here, we... This is the alpha jade beak. This was the first... This is a redraw of the first uh, few jade beaks I ever drew. Before it came to, like, a more toucan-like design. Um, it, it has, like... That's not a tongue. It has, like, showy googly gobbles. What are those called? Like, the red shit that hangs off of a, a rooster and a turkey's mouth? What, what's that called? Uh, it's got, like, these... I, w I was super inspired by Ty the Tasmanian Tiger to have these, um... I know, <laughs> Twitter art. Don't worry, I made sure not to show anything. Uh, I, I wanted to have these, like, V things, which, that's what I put on this jade beak here. Because I thought that was a really cool design element that the modern jade beak doesn't have normally. It's got white talons. I never colored any of the old jade beaks. Gizzard! I think gizzard is the right term. Yeah, because the jade beak is related to the eve bird, which is a, a, a type of parrot. So the jade beak technically isn't even a toucan. It's a parrot. It, it just it has a long beak, <laughs> and both the jade beak and the eve bird uh, are related to a big parrot that's like a, a, a peacock. So I figured to have like a showy element uh, all the way from the show bird. That's the name of the peacock parrot bird, um, and then. I wanted to have like a cool, like, slurk jade beak design. So, uh, it, I, I wasn't thinking about it until after I colored it. It looks like a magpie or like some sort of corvid. In this form. Mm. <sighs> That's nice. Oh, I love milk. But. Oh, a wa- oh, the, the gizzard is like that temporary stomach, right? It's like an organ. <clears throat> anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and Potato, your, your initial sketch was already quite satisfactory. I wasn't expecting you to to, uh, to go back and uh, add more to it. I, I was pleasantly surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, the planets. Oh yeah. Let me pull up my uh, my planet thing because it's been. A little while since I've looked at it. Am I dying? Am I experiencing uh, uh, multiple organ failure? What's wrong with me? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Alright. So, uh,. Satir. I'm gonna do a, a, a quick rundown of the planets before we uh, go back and uh, start sketching the line art of these little guys here. Mm -hmm. 
So we have the sun. Let's draw the sun. Uh, their sun is just a, a normal G star, just like ours. It's just a yellow main sequence sun. Nothing special about it. <laughs> this is this is a not to scale diagram of their solar system. I just want to have you guys keep that in mind. <laughs> their planets aren't actually close to the sun, nor are they the size presented. Uh, just use your imagination. I actually do have like all of the the uh, like their semi-major axis, axis I, their axial tilts, radius, mass, surface gravity, rotation period, and orbital period, as well as their hill sphere. We're acclipable. Acclipable? I'm having a strokeable. Man, I loved going to, to Walmart as a kid and buying a big, big little box of strokeables. Alright, the first planet is called Satir. It looks like Sather. Whoa. But it's pronounced with the with the hard T H. And it's basically Mercury. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Let me try something. I'm I'm gonna go on a quick break. liquid metal. Uh, keep in mind they have terraformed m most to all of the planets. It's kind of subjective for uh, the, the the level of terraforming on each world. Uh, but each one has been colonized I should say. But the level of terraforming kind of varies from planet to planet. Satir doesn't have any moons. Then we get to the maroon planet, Apena. Now Apena, uh, that's where the representative here is from. So this is Apena. And it actually has a moon, a pretty sizable moon, just like Earth's moon, called Vena. Uh, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make arrows to kind of show what each representative kind of represents, I suppose. So Apena is actually, like Satir, it has mostly biodomes on it, but Apena here, um, it's, so at one point it actually was like Venus, however, uh, they, they terraformed it to a point, it's kind of like a maintenance thing, like you don't just boom, it's magically done, you need to constantly maintain it, especially a planet like Epena, where the it's a greenhouse effect, right? Um, and Epena is actually maroon, because that's the um that's the color of the vegetation there. I, I watched this really educational video where um, on any given world, the, the main form of vegetation can be one of two colors. On Earth, it's green because of chlorophyll, or it could be this nice, cool maroon color. My campus, because one of our school colors is actually maroon, we have a ton of like maroon plants everywhere. And it's not like flowers, it's like actual red leaves. What color is the world Corby is on? Oh, we'll get, we'll get to Corby, don't you worry. Just be patient, my dear Steven. You will, uh, your patience will be rewarded. I assure you. 
Next we have uh Artin. Corby is from Karada. Uh Dushal's color is red. So I feel like by proxy Karada's color would also be red. That's my uh, immediate input. Te technically it's like a, a nice the actual color of the world. That uh, uh, that was like the symbolic thing, the actual color of Karada's world. Uh, fan art? <gasps> fan art? I love fan art. This is uh, Halopy. Let me write the name. This is the original world from which Wanderlings originated from. And it has two moons. It's got uh, one pretty big one named Zide, and a second one named Bamboo. And they're in orbital resonance with one another. Bamboo was originally an asteroid moon, but I changed it to make it a little more different. Because it, uh, this lore was kind of based off the Kerbals, because these all were originally Kerbals, but then uh, I decided to make it more of an original thing. But, uh, let's see. Dushal here. Dushal is actually, it's, it's just like Mars. Oh, that's a perfect color. It looks like Dushal, but, uh, anglicization and all. Dushal is far more easier and more consistent to pronounce. And it has this large moon named Karada. Or, sorry, Karada. It's not Karada, that's too, that's too Latin. And these two are, uh, they're actually tidally locked to one another. And what's funny is that even though Karada is visually the smaller body, uh, no wait, what's, what's the deal with it? Let's see. Lushal is 3.5 megameters. Karada is... Oh shit, Karada is like just slightly smaller than it. And it's. Uh, it has a higher density. What I'm trying to get at is that Kara Karada has a higher density than Dushal. So it has a higher surface gravity. But Dush uh, Dushal here was the first candidate for colonization by the Halopians way back, over 100,000 years ago. That's how far in the future uh, this sort of lore takes place. But yeah, Karada was originally a kind of a dark gray world until it was colonized. Now it's kind of the same color as Dushal. Uh, then we have the asteroid belt, so let me represent that. Put the some dots. There's actually a planet here. It's a it's a it's a dwarf planet and it's called uh, Athel or Athel. I think Athel sounds better. It's just kind of a truck stop, basically. Uh, there's a couple of other dwarf planets in here, but they're not significant enough to be, I guess, talked about. It's just kind of like being pedantic about Vesta and Ceres. It's like, who gives a shit, you know? And then, uh, the first planet, we have the Jupiter analog, Ramiel, and Ramiel's like, no, it's not bright green. It, it's white, yeah, it's like white with green stripes. It's got green and yellow stripes, it's just like Christmas. But the bulk of the planet is white. And it has this huge ring system. So it's kind of like between, uh... Whoa, that looks kind of slick. It's kind of in between, uh... Yeah, Romeo. It's kind of in between, uh... Oh, I put this in the wrong order. Saturn and Jupiter. Da da dum bum 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 ba da da dum bum 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 ba. 
And Ramiel has four moons. Three of them are main moons, and I'm actually going to make them different colors to kind of show. The first one, we have Sandra. Or sorry. Fuck, I forgot the way that Holstein pronounced it. It's the French way. I think it's Sandra instead of Sandra. And it's just an ocean world. It barely, it has like two islands on it. Uh, but it's a... Uh, it's actually really dangerous to live on because it's right in the middle of Ramiel's Van Allen field, which is this field of uh, hypercharged electrons. So it's like super radioactive, but people uh, people who live on Sandra do it mostly for um, scientific experiments. Other people who live on Sandra um, will do it specifically so that um, for like luxury living, because all the people who live on Sandra, they have, they just happen to have a perfect protective layer under the water. I'm not sure if it actually works like that, because uh, all I know is that water is supposed to help, like, help contain radiation. <laughs> just suspend your disbelief for a second. Oh, there's a moon in between Sandra and Chevu, or Chasse. Oh, Peru. Here we go. So uh, the point when uh, when the Halopians were colonizing. Uh, it's not actually purple, that's just its symbolic color. Potatoes like purple? Did you, did you say purple? Yeah, baby. So, uh, when the, yeah, the Halopians, they were colonizing Ramiel's moons. They haven't colonized Ramiel uh, yet in the timeline. But when they were first, when they first got there, they were like, okay, the moons sound like a perfect idea. Each of the three main moons, uh, re they had a purpose. Sandra was the lu like the luxury living spot before it became more of a research-based thing. Based, Beirut was um, kind of just like a more comfortable living space. Um, it's used just for manual labor. It's supposed to help support the economies of the other two main moons, and Chasse. We'll talk more about uh, Beirut in a second. Chasse? I'm gonna tell you why it's green. This is the origin of the Jade Beak. Jade Beaks, all Jade Beaks come from Chasse. Um, it's, it's fucking weird because... Um, so there was a bird on Halopy called the Showbird. They brought it over to a Pena and it differentiated into the Eve Bird and then someone took their Eve birds to Chasse, and they became Jade Beaks. So there's like some weird cosmic energy going on. Um, Chasse's purpose was to be like a, a hunting resort, but as an entire fucking world. Oh, let's get a better brown. And then this is an asteroid moon called Dreza. And, and it's just used for uh, scientific observation. There actually was a, a horrific event on Dreza. I was actually talking about it uh, last week, where basically third impact happened <laughs> uh, uh, when Hebel decided to summon the uh, summon the branch. I know, good times, good times. I'm gonna leave that there. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, it kind of devastated some of the uh... Chuckers! What's up? What's up, my brother? Take it easy, my brother Shakers. Take it easy, Jumojiko. Uh, how you doing? Oh, oh, and. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I almost forgot about uh, the other 
the other planet. I'm so used to the the other lore. So there's another gas giant here. It's technically, uh, technically it's an ice giant, but uh, I'm gonna try and not be pedantic about it. And it's it's pretty big. It's it's just like Ramiel. Uh, and it's called our our. It's spelled like this. Our gaunt, our goat. I really wish I wish I don't. Maybe it could be like a weird friend, like a weird European way, like ah goat or something. And it has a singular moon called uh, Maida, I think. Maida, my my balls. <laughs> yeah, Maida. And it's supposed to be like Neptune and it's retrograde moon, Triton. Like Maida goes around Argon the wrong way. Um Yeah, not a lot to say about Argon. Ramiel, like it's far more lucrative and it's far more attractive to uh Especially to the inner planet, inner, uh, inner solar system. In fact, actually, except for Halope, we'll talk about what Halope's deal is, but the inner solar system is kind of a fucking shithole. <laughs> well, uh, well, we get to the outer solar system, things are a little bit more... Uh, uh, the infrastructure is a little bit more... Uh, I don't want to say developed, but things are more uh, put together for equitable living, let's say. And then we have the uh, the Oort Cloud, or the Viperian Belt. The Viperian Belt is named that way because there is a... And these are dwarf planets, so they're not really that special, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. Pluto isn't special. What the fuck are you gonna do about it, bitch? Huh? Are you gonna shit and piss and whine? Huh? Actually, don't do that. I hate cleaning up after you guys. I can't believe I have to fucking do that. Uh, and Viper is just supposed to be Pluto. It even has a heart-shaped region on it, just like Pluto. Uh, so the thing about Viper, uh, as well as Faith... Uh, let's... I'm gonna use the symbolic color. Faith is actually just kind of a dark gray. Yeah, Faith is just a tiny world, and it has a... Oh my... Oh! Oh my god! You subscribed?! Oh! Oh my god, don't sip him. You gave me your sub! Welcome to the Danger Zone! Welcome, welcome! It What an honor! Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Checkers. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Thank you. I really mean it. How was your night? I want to hear it. Oh, no, no. It's Nerith and then Faith. Faith is the moon. Yeah. Nerith. <laughs> what a hard thing. <laughs> I feel like this would be so hard for non-anglophones to pronounce. If you... If you if you're native in a different language than English, how would you pronounce that word? I would just like to know. My German, my, my German side wants to pr pronounce it like, Nerit. Nerit. Um, the thing about Nerit, uh, Nerit and Faith is that it's kind of like a Pluto and Sharon. Is it Char- is it Sharon? Charon? Is it- it's a it's a Pluto and its main moon situation where there's a primary body, but they uh, orbit each other and they're tidally locked. Yeah, I mean it, these guys are fucking tiny, and that's where uh, this guy comes from. But all of these, even the the moons as well, they have their own different cultures. Even uh, in the planet, or on the planet themselves, there's several countries, city-states. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I keep missing your messages, Potato. I do apologize. What kind of curry did you make?
Is curry sauce kind of made like gravy? Mm. Alright, let's do a, another little stretch. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Curry blocks. I know, right? What? What do you mean an entire big ass world isn't just a. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't. It, what do you mean it doesn't have just one representative culture? I fucking. I hate that trope in science fiction. I hate that trip so fucking much. Like, even within a town, there's a single town. Or I should say city. A town is a little bit more cl closely knit than a city. Even within one city, there's like several different sub uh, subcultures going on. But I'm just gonna talk about like, generally what's gonna, like what the culture is. But that's kind of like saying generally what the culture of the entire planet of Earth is like. <laughs> but I'll do my best. Alright, let's start doing the line art. Is this from Bomberman? Is this? I guess it is from Bobberman. Pepsi Man! These are the moon. All moon are bankers. Well, what? I know, yeah, like, how, surely there's some, like, how does an entire fucking race of sapient creatures just want to do one job? Like, how, like, Evolutionarily, how can you be? How can you have society? And like, it's I guess it's a little different. Oh god, retcon lore. Uh oh. Oh god, they're paying attention. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, what am I retconning? Yeah, but I, I, I hate that, because uh, it implies that real white, real, real life works like that, and it's like, huh? Nani? Alright, so let's talk about what uh, this person's deal is. I forgot her name. I used to, I'm not gonna dig for the lore. Uh, um, wait, hold on. Uh... Where am I? Oh, actually, let's talk about Satir for, for a quick second. So Satir, it's just Mercury. Um, I haven't really thought a lot about, um, let's name this planets. Kuri blocks. Oh, oh, so they're kind of like stock blocks. But you use it to make a, a fucking sauce instead of a broth. I've never seen that. Medium hot? What if I want mine very hot, huh? Oh wait, hold on, there's uh, there's Japanese on this. I have to read it. Chia su ka chi. You know, I always mix up- I can't tell if that's chi or sa. I always mix up my hiragana. I can't fucking read. Ku chrome. 250 chrome? No, oh, gramu. Guram. Oh, gram. Ons. Oh. 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 Osus. Oh. Uh, oh. Ounces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Uh, but the, the, the culture I want for- or that I envision, rather, 
for satire is that it's just kind of like uh, uh, the uh, the uh, what's it called excavation era of Egypt like a bunch of uh, perhaps Eurocentric historians <laughs> to put it lightly just going to Egypt and digging up shit they probably shouldn't be digging up and stealing it essentially it has that kind of like vibe but more so on the uh, Egyptian side but they they have they have that kind of uh, sense of uh, 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 discovery. Super super hot. <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, thanks for sending a fuck. I can't. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, cara. Extra hot. Thank you. I appreciate you looking out for me. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Is this vegan? Palm oil? I'm not buying it. The killing orangutans. Mm. Ooh, caramel. Mmm. Mmm, chemicals. Diosodium. Guano. Everything has chemicals in it. You know, I hate people who, like, don't buy something because they see, like, a long-ass chemical name on it, but it's like, you do realize fucking everything has chemicals in it. <laughs> what are you fucking on the end or something? Oh yeah, plenty of MSG. You know, MSG isn't bad. I, I, I said it. A lot of people are like, oh my god, that shit's poison. But it's literally just a potent seasoning. That's all, that's all it is. I mean, salt's pretty fucking bad too. But you gotta unvegan it. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that fucking verb. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I want it to be slightly less. She already looks. She looks like a PS2 model, or like a PS2. Sorry, not a PS2. She looks like a an early PlayStation character, like a mascot. Oh no! It has sodium chloride. Oh god. My dad actually and uh, my 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 good homie Cody, they actually their ankles swell up whenever they uh, eat something with a bunch of salt in it, and I fear the day whenever that happens to me. Like when I can't eat salt because I'm blowing up like a fucking balloon. Because I love salt. Like I don't have a lot of sweet things lying around the house, so sometimes I'll just eat something. Uh, I'll just eat something salty in lieu, in lieu, in lieu of a proper dessert. Because I, I just love savory things. As, uh, as bad as the sweet tooth as I have. I will rue the day! I will rue the day. Yeah, I think that looks better. So she doesn't look like a fucking super sane. <laughs> Alright, so the Appendants, uh, their lore. There's, there's two- oh god, that's a, an offensive- There are two different- I shouldn't say two different cultures. Two different types of cultures. That's a little better. On a penna. They have the, uh, the- Cloud cities and the, the, the surface tribes. So uh, the the cloud cities they're kind of like a, a dystopian sort of thing. Uh, you, you would rather live in the cloud cities than the uh, than the uh, the surface. Sweet things like lead. I was actually gonna get uh, into lead because the, the pendants use a shit ton of lead. How many bits? What? 20 bucks? Uh, checkers. I think you should go here instead. Yeah. 20. Or, oh god, not 20. Do not give me 20,000 bits. You will die. 2,000. What's this? <gasps> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> hey champ, that's really interesting. Next time, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I saw a dub of that on my Twitter. Someone drew uh, their Cobra OC. I didn't know there was an original video. I finally saw it with my own eyes. Na na na. Oh, right. Um, so to keep afloat. So let me roll it back. A penna? is just like Venus. It's just like the planet PENIS! Uh, you, you need protection. Like, you can go outside for a short time when you're in the clouds, but generally you shouldn't fucking do that. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's still acidic, sulfuric-wise, but it's like a weaker acid. Wait, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I was actually thinking about it the other day that I, I should I should be less uh, toxic during streams, because you know you do like that sort of music. Acid rain comes from acid clouds, but yeah, but if you're like floating around in the clouds, you're not. You can go above the clouds, or above, like, the, the denser clouds. When you're on the surface, the clouds are always above you. You can barely see the sun uh, from the surface. Um, the, uh, um, the general culture of a penna... Or, sorry, the, the general culture of the, of the cloud cities is extremely dystopian. They, uh, they have, like, social credit scores. Uh, it's kind of like modern day China, but way, like, far more dystopian, far more uh, dictator like. Uh, and it's a matriarchy. You know, gamers rise up. Gotta raise up against the matriarchy. You've managed. Well, did you give me money? <gasps> what? Are you commissioning me? <laughs> me? Oh, you did! Oh, thank you. I, I'm already doing a tennis stuff this weekend. However, uh, it, wh what I mean by saying that is that it, it will be just a little bit... Uh, it'll be a little bit before I can get you to your commission, but I am down to do it. I would love to draw you, Mr. Checkers. It's been so long, and I really enjoyed I enjoyed drawing you in the group shot that I did for the Critter Cottage. I think we should do another one soon, another group picture, because we have so many more new friends in there, and I'm a I'm a little bit more familiar with the some of the uh, the parties. She looks so. <laughs> yeah, he gave money to Mr. Pantalone. <laughs> Mr. Pantalone. <laughs> No, don't awe at that. Um, let's see. So the culture, I said this earlier, on Epena was actually created during the mist of war uh, with Halopy. So why, why were they warring? What was that all about? So uh, a, a couple tens of thousands of years, it must have been uh, about 30,000 years after the original uh, colonization attempts and terraforming by the uh, Halopians, the, uh, the Appendants felt like they were being shafted by the Halopians. They were like, hey, we don't really like being taxed just for, you know, trying to live on this fucking planet. Oh my god, I think that's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is true. I've just, 
Listen, I'm picky. I'm picky, bitch, all right? Mm. Oh, what's this? Oh, I've seen this before. That's really impressive. Oh my god. <clears throat> <clears throat> When I listened, <laughs> when I was composing in college, and I was learning like new composition techniques, I would I would have the same sort of visceral reaction. I was like, "Oh my god, my music sounds like fucking dog shit." <laughs> like even now, like music I composed two years ago, I'm like, "Wow, that sounds like fucking horrible." <gasps> what? I'm also the first person to draw you. <gasps> Oh, oh god. That's a little bit extreme. Houdini <laughs> starts sobbing. I, I didn't... I didn't even make Mr. Pantalone smile. <laughs> you made me smile then and there. <laughs> you always make me smile, Mudinho. You're pretty funny. It would be quite an honor to draw you, Mr. Checkers. Oh god, where am I? What was I talking about? Oh, right, right. Uh, the Appendants were so fucking angry at the, uh, at the Halopians that they decided to wage, it, like, a 5,000 year war. The reason why it took so long, uh, most of the- most of the time was just spent, like, stalling, <laughs> essentially. Uh, they were just kind of uh, dicking around because at, at the same time they were also trying to keep their planet uh, the, the terraforming maintained, right? Because you can't just terraform a planet, you have to uh, maintain it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a super half-assed war. Uh, it, it was actually five wars, but it was essentially like a really long, slow burn war. Uh, and at the current day, um, it's like 30,000 years after the fact. Um, ha so th the planets are all in the order in which they uh, appear distance from the sun. That is a fucked sentence, I am so sorry. But uh, Satir is still technically on good terms with Halopy. However, because a penna it, its orbit is in the way. Like, uh... What's safer work? You do know that I'm an NSFW artist, correct? I could if you wanted me to. Because you, uh, did give me 20 bucks. That's enough for a good NSFW picture from yours, truly. Uh... But yeah, a penna is like, Ah, uh ah, -uh, girlfriend! You ain't going to the uh, to the inner solar system. Mm -mm, no way. And Halpy is like, okay, sure, I guess. And so Apenic just kind of chokes Satir from engaging with the rest of the solar system, even though <laughs> they didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> uh, Vena. Uh, yeah, it's just like Earth's moon. There's something really special happening there. I think the most interesting part of the oh of a pen and war is the the surface tribes so uh you know how i said they live on like well th they live in the clouds they accomplish that by living in these um uh in these like floating cities super advanced technology um very sci-fi oh oh my god <laughs> jesus christ super advanced but sometimes the cities just, they spontaneously fail. All the engines just fail at once, and it, it is definitely not political internal corruption. No, no, definitely not. No, sir. Uh... Uh... 
Uh, where am I? Oh yeah, so the uh... Most of the time, everyone just fucking dies. But, sometimes... Um... Sometimes, some of the people on the cities live and they establish tribes on the surface. Now, for how long those tribes last, it's, uh, it's a matter if they can find water or not. Because most of the groundwater uh, on a planet's surface is fucking acid or it's like toxic or in some way because of all the lead waste. So because of the sulfuric acid in the, uh, in the atmosphere, they have to build all of their shit out of lead and it seeps into the atmosphere, it seeps into the soil. So uh, even if you do survive <laughs> the, uh, the hard trip down, you may not make it far longer. Oh, oh, you want- oh! It would be my pleasure to make a reference sheet. You know, checkers, I've actually been meaning to make a reference sheet for my own stuff. You will be very nice practice. It'll, it'll teach me a few lessons for my own characters. Like, I want to make a reference sheet for my, uh... For my, um... Uh, for the Jade Beak, and then like his Anthro version. I think his Anthro version is like a fucking daddy. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I need to grab Daddy Beak. Daddy Beak. Do 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 do. Daddy Beak. Do 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 do. Daddy Beak. Do 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 do. Mommy Beak. Do do. Where is he? Where is he? Did I already delete him? I I regularly uh, go through my files and just uh. Column. Really? Is it not here? Beans. Uh, take my word for it. Oh, actually, hold on. It's, it has to be in the dick sword somewhere. Surely it must be in dick sword. Where is it? No, I gotta find Daddy Beak. I gotta find him. I don't know where I would have posted him. Here we go. So Potato, uh, and I think this was for an art trade, or this was a challenge that Potato wanted me to do. Uh, and then, oh, oh fuck, I shouldn't have closed Discord. No, oh, okay. I didn't. I just uh, thought that I did. Oh, uh, I'm actually gonna grab this picture. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in. And... And the original version of the Anthro Jade Beak. Because he used to be a fucking twink. Holy shit. Now he's a little bit more of a daddy, which is what I... What? What? I never posted him? In... Is it in other art? I have to find my Anthro Jade Beak! I have to find him! Check coffee. Uno momento, mi amigo. Ah, oh, shit. I'm, I'm not gonna find it. This is what I was talking about earlier. So we here we have the Jade Beak, and it's a sister species to the Eve Bird. The Eve Bird is native to, um, to Epena and Vena. And this is the Show Bird. It's just a parrot, but it's a, it's a, it's a peacock. You did it. what? You did another thing? You did another thing? You did a what now? Do I have to clean up after you? What, you did it again? Give him- <laughs> No, don't awe about- <laughs> Thank you very much for the double support. I really appreciate it, checkers. <laughs> you guys can- <laughs> Oh, oh shit, I didn't mean to- Oh shit! <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, I, you, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> I forgot the crow was still up! <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Beaver tail? Oh, oh wait, fuck. Shit. Uh, hold on. Uh... 
I'm too lazy to grab the... Uh, do you mean this image? I'm too lazy to grab the other image, if that's what you mean. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the current design. Uh, uh, originally, he, he had like this kind of uh, twink, like jean uh, jorts, if you will, jean jorts. Uh, like a crop top, but he looked a little bit too... My original idea was that uh, I wanted him to be kind of androgynous, but I, I like the idea that he can just be like a like a 70s mega bad, fat dick daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. I want to be a fat dick daddy, so therefore my big Sona should be a fat dick daddy. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, checkers. Uh, we could talk about it more uh, when I finally get time to sit down and work on it. Because it would be my pleasure. Because uh, again, I don't, I've, I haven't made a proper reference sheet at all. He's all, <laughs> he's all like, have an RC cola. I like to think he has like a, a suave voice. More curry. Do you have a Tim Curry? Whoa, I actually like how that looks. Um, but let's say a surface tribe uh, actually gets themselves off the ground. Let's say that they're ready to go. Uh, they just, they have to keep surviving. Uh, usually the, the ground tribes, they have a complete, oh my god, your hand is like the size of Mars. Bum bum, ba -da 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 -da. It looks so contemptible. Uh, their social structure typically goes to uh, an equitable. Uh, like they don't, they kind of evolve into a genderless society. They, they don't really follow the the matriarchal thing anymore. Uh, and usually the the cloud appendants are super aggressive. And they're su they can be a little bit bad, <laughs> uh, but the surface tribes, they're just- they're pretty chill. I feel like because they're constantly struggling to survive, so they have way more incentive just to be fucking nice to each other. Like, there's tons of resources, it's just water. But when worse comes to worse, they'll just share. They'll, sh they'll share until the death, and they believe in honorable starving. If they need to- if they need to die so that the rest of the tribe can survive, they'll do that on their own accord. Those those dummies actually have a uh, honor instead of the, the cloud dwellers. Oh yeah, that's another thing that kind of hampers the success of new ground tribes. Uh, Appendants are typically super greedy, <laughs> as well as aggressive, so usually, uh, uh, yeah, that happens. Lawful scum. I know. Those goddamn communists. Hmm. This person here, she's known as, uh, I think she's a high seer. So earlier I said that there are two different, at least for the cloud, the, the, <laughs> the cloud dwellers. Um, there's two different kinds of, uh, of, like, uh, administrative role, let's call it. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm dying! Oh god! Prophet of the Mists. That's fucking cool. This is just called a, a high seer. Pepsi Man! No. Anything but Pepsi Man. I do like Pepsi Man though. I hate Pepsi, but Pepsi Man is cool. Hopefully he doesn't hear that. Um, so there's two, yeah, the two branches of government. They have a, a religious sect, oh, which kind of uh, keeps the non-believers in order, it kind of uh, maintains the matriarchy. And then there's the actual, uh, the, the war bound. <laughs> Uh, branch, which is just a holdover from their 
war with Halopy. And I forgot what they were called. So these diadems, they kind of represent um, the status of, uh, of the... Uh... Okay, so uh, let me... Uh, so at the very top, we have the Grand Minister and she has a crown that kind of looks like this. Actually, let me do this on a different layer. She has a diadem. I don't want to say crown or tiara. Diadem just sounds way cooler. She has a diadem with seven spikes. And then uh, here we have the six spikes. This is the high seer. And four spikes. Uh, this is just the normal seer, I think. Or maybe priestess. And then the two spikes. Uh, I forgot that what that one was called. I, ha I have all of this somewhere. I just didn't want to spend 17 hours digging it up. And then on the other side, we have the five spikes. Um, I think that one is called High General or... It's like some like uh, military name. Three spikes. Uh, low... General, I, I feel like there would be specific appendant words for it, and then the single, you know, the diaper Japanese crown, the one pronged diadem, that's called a governor. And the idea, oh wait, let's see, is that the power goes from uh, seven. There's one person with the, the seven pronged, two people with the six pronged, three people with the five pronged, and so on and so forth. Uh, until eventually you get to the governor level, and there's seven governors that rule over uh, the various cities. Or city sta They're literally city-states, I suppose. Just big, floating, hunking, honking chunks of hunkin' metal. While uh, the high seers typically stay at the grand minister. That's what this uh, this person is called the Grand Minister of uh, Apenna. A uniprong! You're right. Oh shit, hold on, I have to fix my posture now. <laughs> yeah, I, I do this a lot. I used to have really good posture until macaroni hit and I was staying inside like 16 out of 24 hours of the day. And when I wasn't sitting, I was lying down because I was asleep. I've never had curry. I've smelled curry a couple of times and it makes me want to throw up. But it's supposed to, like, I've heard people say, oh, it smells bad, but it tastes really good. So I'm curious to see if that's actually true. Um, uh, the language of a pena. And I'm, the reason why I'm talking on and on about a pena is because uh, I don't really... I don't really have many ideas about satire yet. Haven't gotten the opportunity just to sit down and think about it. All the other cultures are so much more interesting for me to deliberate upon. The language in the clouds, uh, it's kind of shrill, just like the, the Dushalians. The Dushalians have a lot of clicks and harsh consonants. Um, same thing goes for a penna, because they're in a high altitude place but they uh they do use these like softer labial consonants in the uh, nasal consonants like p's uh v's n's <laughs> faux smells bad and tastes bad i can believe it i've smelt it it smells like death <laughs> looks worse than everything a snacky you better tell us what your snack is silly I'm gonna grow grab a silly um, oh god where am I um, but on the surface uh, the surface of a pena because the atmosphere is like super fucking thick thick 
They use a, a far more softer language. In fact, most of their language becomes labial and nasal. Uh, they lose almost all of their uh, harsher, clicky consonants. Like, the appendants also have clicks as well. When am I gonna eat today? I ate pizza earlier. I'm still pretty full. My acid reflux. My phlegm is kind of killing me because I, I took a nap after I ate my pizza. I might reheat some uh, after the stream just for a quick snack, but I'm still full. I've got a tiny tummy. What's this? Oh. <laughs> It's a bird! I love that crows always look like that. They always look so solemn, like, cheer up, bitch, damn. You're gonna be sassy, we won't go to Walmart today. Um, most of the fashion, especially for the elite, is just like these long flowing- I, I had a lot of Greco-Roman influence, I will admit. Uh, but just mixed with, like, kind of, uh, uh, ancient Chinese. I really like the aesthetic of ancient Chinese fashion and, uh, architecture. I think it looks super fucking cool. And they have a lot of organic-looking, uh, architecture. Like, a lot of bamboo-looking stuff. Or I guess a lot of bamboo uh, textured stuff. They don't actually use bamboo because it's really hard to grow stuff. And they do not want to go to the uh, to the surface of a penna just to harvest some bamboo. They, they mostly use uh, reusable, recyclable organic plastics because they actually have a, a bid with the, uh, the Viperian Mafia to... Uh, uh, let's not say illegally export, because even though there's bad blood with the Apennins and the Halopians, and both parties are associated with Ramiel, Ramiel doesn't care whether or not there's beef between them. The people of Ramiel are just like, okay, well, we like money. That's, I mean, our planet is fucking green, you know? What did you eat today, Mudinho? He said you had pizza earlier. Oh. Oh no, I just thought my AC unit was leaking. I was like, oh, it's, it's there's like a weird uh, thing in it and the light reflects off of it so perfectly that it looks like it's leaking, but it's not. Rice and beans? Beans? Nice. I need to eat healthier. I had, um, I made a, I, I just put some carrots, uh, and some bell peppers and some spinach on a skillet for, uh, whoa, that looks slick, on the, uh, on the skillet this morning, as well as some toast. And I didn't eat, uh, all morning outside of that because I wanted to be hungry for my pizza. That looks fucking slick! She looks dangerous. Snackies? What's your snackies? I love food. As I say, su suffering from... <laughs> from my food choices. I'm fucking miserable, holy shit. I don't know what's wrong with me. Corby telling someone to hold the fuck up before they get smacked and ch uh, before they get smacked the fuck up. <gasps> I love him. Oh, this is going right in the fan art. I love his top knot. You really fucking nailed it. You nailed the fucking eyebrows too. I love the braid. <laughs> I love the angry eye too. He's pissed. He's like, hold up, shawty, you better fucking wait now. That's awesome. And I love the fingies, too. I love your attention to detail. That's awesome. I love the background as well. 
He's like, held up. Corby's a bad bitch. I noticed that. At first I didn't know if that was a, a thing with coloring, but I can tell, like here, right? Those are breaks in the coloring, but this is like a deliberate, this, uh, the five o'clock shadow here. That's nice. I like the pattern on his pants as well. Is that shadowing or is it just like a pants patterning? That's pretty fucking good. That is mucho excelente. <laughs> patterning? Hell yeah, brother. I dig it. That's going right in the fan art uh, folder. Oh, oh, I want candy. I never buy candy when I'm out for groceries. I should, but I, I always eat it <laughs> within the first day of having it. So I'll, I'll go like months at a time without getting candy for myself. Mm. I could, I do have some Klondike bars in my, uh, in my freezer. That sounds kind of good, but I'm still pretty full. Let's see. We're almost done liner line arting this. Um, I don't really have a a ton. Oh, I guess the uh, let's talk about the food. I haven't really thought about what the appendants would eat because they're all vegan. Uh, they're kind of vegan more by choice rather than just vegetarians because it's kind of a bitch to raise uh, animals in the in the clouds while the uh, the appendants of the the surface they're actually um, they're vegan more by necessity because uh, the animals there they've had time to get used to the acidic content but wanderlings still have not um, I, I will say, whenever there uh, are political exile, exil, exilations, exilta like you get exiled, is there a noun for that? I don't know. Whenever any uh, anyone gets exiled from the uh, the clouds to the surface, they're ju they're just given a parachute and a basic spacesuit <laughs> and uh, like a couple of MREs, and they're like, okay, well. Fuck you. Never see you again. See ya. Oh. Oh, I know why that looks weird. Yeah. I was I was wondering. That looks weird. Food talks. Big pee pee. Pipelanius pee pee. That's actually what the pee- Oh god. <laughs> Expulsion. Banishment. Thank you. Those are far more fitting than what the stupid shit I came up with. Damn, shawty. Thank you, thank you. Oh, she looks so terrifying. You know, the good lord... The good lord yeets... And the good lord yoinks away. Amen. We need to do another little stretch. I actually need to get- actually, I need to take a, a small break. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the music while I go get more water. Uh, uh, yeah, while I uh, go get more water, stretch for a little bit. See you in a second.
I return, oh, I return, I return, oh, I return. I have come back from the absolute, the void. You know, maybe that's how Potato came up with the name for his OC. Just whenever I sit down, he's like, boof. Now that's a good name. I gotta get, I have to get comfortable. Are you kidding me? Oh, color. Ah, color. Right. <laughs> this guy looks so fucking stupid. I have to change that. Everyone else looks so cool. Or, you know, they look cute or they look cool. This guy's just like, I, my mom gave me haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I had a yeet button. The Appendants typically have extremely dark skin. Because, well, they're really fucking close to the sun. R reckon I guess why they have dark skin. <laughs> it's a nice, it's deeply saturated, rich green. Whoa, okay, not something darker than the outline, please. Thank you. Let's see. Maybe a maybe uh, slightly desaturated because I want to have that same. Ooh, that's a nice color. That's very pleasant. Uh, Pendants are obsessed with the colors purple, pink, uh, blue, just anything on like this end of the color wheel. They love that shit. Dare I say, they're even simps for it. Oh, uh-oh, there's a hole somewhere. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! Lurk mode. Hey, you don't have to listen at all. I'm just glad that you're here. And I will take your lurk. I hope you have fun. Because I know that you love that game. Don't hesitate to tell me about your adventures, my dear potato. Oh, okay. I think it's some scrungulation going on here. That's why it's breaking the, the geometry. Not the geometry, no! Anything but the geometry! There we go. Okay, 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 that works a lot better. Oh, not that. No. <laughs> no! Be gone! Oh. No, no, come back, Mr. I'm sorry, Geometry. I didn't mean to tell you to be gone. Oh, that looks so cool. You know, usually I would give her a dress that looks like this. However, I'm kind of digging like the deep, no, the deep purple. I kind of dig that color. No, but de desaturate it. Make it darker. Also, do it on the right layer, you fucking cuck. Just a nice, rich... Fuck, where was it? There we go. It would be... <laughs> I am not interested in, a, in a playing a Final Fantasy game. That one person who kept spamming for me to... Uh, Draw his uh, Final Fantasy shit. It wasn't you. It was someone a really long time ago. It kind of uh, ruined uh, Final Fantasy for me. I already didn't like the idea of it, but he kind of ruined it completely. I was like, wow! This fucking dickhead he, who wants me to keep drawing Final Fantasy shit and knows I don't like drawing Final Fantasy shit. Hmm. Hmm. Right, there shouldn't be any more breaks. I swear to fucking god! Oh, oh, there, oh, there was something I thought of during my, uh, during my break. Fuck, and I forgot it. Frick! 
Oh wait, wasn't there something I was explaining? <laughs> One cuck. Yeah, he kind of was a cuck. He became far more popular than me. I'm just jealous. I don't even have any contempt in my heart for him. He just really liked Final Fantasy. And here I am bullying him. I'm toxic! I'm toxic! Oh god! Oh, <laughs> I, I was wondering why you typed an F. I was like... <laughs> F for the Final Fantasy cook. Yeah, I guess it's because it's like a... <laughs> no, I don't think I will ignore it. <laughs> you tell him, Stone. Yeah, we're gonna put it on your permanent record. We're never gonna forget this uh, transgression against the state. You're gonna go to F jail, huh? How do you feel about that, silly? Whoa. Okay, the black looks really cool, but it's supposed to be silver. Time to- <laughs> I know, time to immortalize it by making it a, a fucking emote. I do like that color for her eyes, though. No, their eyes are actually supposed to be kind of a yellowy shade. And preserve it in memes forever. FOREVER! Do these fruit flies have anywhere else to be? I swear to fucking Christ. I swear to God, I'm gonna scream. I'll do it. Yeah, we'll have to go back and uh, re- Oh, no, wrong layer. There we go. Uh, this doesn't look like it's closed. You know, Krita, Krita just wants me to suffer. It wants, it, it wants me to, to scream and shit and piss until I do what it wants. My joke's on Krita. I know it's ins and outs as well. Okay. Get this color. Uh, make it grow. Grow? Yeah, they typically have dark, uh, dark skin, dark colored hair, very, uh, curly, very tightly curled hair. Very kinky, if you, if one will. Kinky? No, not purple. What, why did you select that? I just want to know. Mr. Krita, you got some explaining to do. Yeah, I don't want her to look like a fucking clown. I just want her to have, like, black-looking hair. Oh, that's good. Stone is a man of pity. Actually, let's fix that while I'm thinking of it. I don't want to go back to the piece and go, Hey, why is that? And publish it, you know, post it on, like, 17 different sites and then find out, WHY IS THERE A PINK BAR THERE?! You know. I've had that happen- happen in a... Actually, only a couple of times. It doesn't happen very often. Oh! Oh, it just bangs. Why? Why does it bang so hard? Why, Sly? Ooh. Yeah, I kind of dig the, uh, the, the, the lower. You can tell it's a matriarchy because they have female clothing and colors. He- oh, god. He actually did it, the madman. <gasps> <laughs> I 
I like that you can tell it's like different people just because of like the icon here, icon there. It's very nice. I love this community so much. Time for shading. I'm not gonna go full pan because I'm certain to run out of things to say about the opinions. Nothing to say about the uh, Tyrion's satire. When I decide to do something stupid, I bloody do it. I have a great uh, amount of admiration for that. I'm too much of a pussy to go through the things. My pasta hungry. I wasn't hungry for pasta, but let's see it. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I took psychic damage. I was like, oh, it's gonna... No, I can't look at that. Mm-mm. That's gross. That's disgusting! <laughs> that was fucking horrible. Uh. Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to... Let's burn this. Burn it down! Burn it all down! I need to make this a slightly... Oh no, not that much. Yeah. I don't want it to be completely black. There we go. I think that's good. F dot P and G. <laughs> I'll engrave it upon the walls. It'll be my masterpiece engraven. Engravation? Engraving. Engraving. That's what it, that's what the word is called. I know my words, I promise. I promise. Oh, they select. Yeah, they so they have kind of the 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 the, the Duchalin thing where their uh, their heads are kind of octagonal. Yeah, their skin is a little bit light, but. So, uh, Anna Pena, because, uh, like, they na they're naturally born with dark skin, but, um, the deal is, is that the darker your skin is, the higher your rank in society is, because it's associated with tanning, and you can only tan when you're close to the sun, for the, for the most part. And the people who are closer to the sun are higher ranking, <laughs> higher ranking individuals. Well, uh, in the cloud cities, in the slums, you barely see sunlight. Not because of the clouds, but just because of the, the uh, architecture in the way. <gasps> oh my god, Holstein? Oh my- Oh my god! How's it hanging? How's it booping and banging? We're having a lore stream. How was your day? We're actually getting done with the, the first, um, first, uh, uh, clade of, of Wanderlings. Oh yeah, actually, hold on. Yeah, their, their skin is more like this color. Yeah, like, they're super dark. And this is a high-ranking member of society. Like, she has to have dark skin. Lore! 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 Yes! Lore! I want to, like, scream that so fucking loudly, but my neighbors would not like that in the slightest. In fact, because she is so dark, I want to be minimal on the shading. Yeah, there we go. That looks way better. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's nice. I think she looks very pretty. My intent when designing the, uh, the appendants, at least, was that they just look super pretty. Oh. Oh, and, uh, oh. No, don't select their skin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, I just will we'll have to be careful then. <laughs> Sorry, I I hear I hear cars and it challenges my masculinity. I need to like, you know, I need to challenge it. An Asian? We were just talking about Asian food. We were talking about curry and pho. Uh, and, well, fidio isn't an, an Asian food. It's still got noodles. <laughs> when I first moved in here, I fucking hated the constant noise, but now I find a lot of joy in it. Mm. You guys are gonna make me hungry, damn it. You fuckers. Oops. Right, yeah, because it selected her. No, I want to get that shit off of you. Okay. You got something on your face. You ate- This chick was eating, uh, fucking SpaghettiOs. She's got shit all over her face. Me too, potato. Holy moly. I do adore the eyes a lot. Like when I first slapped them down, the color, it's on the line art uh, layer. I, I typically do that for the irises and the glints and stuff. What? Oh, my phone. What did you select? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure why you decided to do it like that. But I mean, go off, shoddy. Go off. Oh my god. Oh my god! You know, I think she would look super- <gasps> So, um, I didn't know this, but you can actually compare the two colors uh, in the color picker, and I didn't know that. I just found that out right now, actually, as a matter of fact. Bruh. New skill obtained. I would think she would look very pretty as a human. Buy the stuff. Oh. Hey, if you win more raffles, you'll have even more stuff in your pie folder. Isn't that exciting? Ham sandwich. Do you have that there? Cause you like. Oh, oh, oh! I know why it's doing that. Stop it! Oh god, she looks scary. Stop it! It's because the 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 color is similar to the background. The creator's like, oh, select everything. You got it. Uh, the appendants love lead. They love silver. Uh, they just like gray, uh, illustrious metals. The lead is mostly for protection, but for decoration, they like silver. And it's like that because on uh, Appena, there was a bunch of like heavy metal exports and precious metal exports. So they were, they decided to capitalize on it. Which was, uh, no, uh, select that. Alright. Oh, and it shows the color you chose even previous. <gasps> oh my god. To sandwich Kent. Clark Kent. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I need to make it look shiny. It's made out of fucking silver. And yes, the diadems are extremely fucking heavy. Because <laughs> they're made out of almost pure fucking silver. Hmm? 
very nice. I think you can tell what the signs. <laughs> I think. What's my favorite clade? Oh, that's a good question. I really like drawing. I've been obsessed with the the Dushal clade recently because they have these like cool octagonal heads. You know, they're short and stout. Here is the handle. Here is their spout. I just love them. They're like the dwarves of the uh, of the different. Oh my god, that looks fucking clean. Oh, I think I'm gonna come. Oh god. And I, I love the Romelians as well. They just look so bubbly and cute. And, and I think the, the, the Viperians are pretty cool as well. Because, like, look at them. Like, the Wanderlings, right? They're all frogs. Uh, but then you get to the Viperians and it's like, hmm, is this a frog? <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of indifferent towards the Halopians, because they're supposed to be basic. Like, that's just kind of their thing. They're basic. Like, even the Apennins look pretty fucking cool, because they're kind of like Dushali and light, and they're also really tall. I don't know. What's your favorite, Clade? It's kind of hard for me to pick. I guess culture-wise, I would definitely love to be a... Uh, uh, I would be a Romelian because uh, they have a familiar culture to our present day. Dushalian? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, I was actually thinking about uh, what nationality of Karada Corby would be of. And I think he would just be uh, the, Ku the Kunajabi, or sorry, the Kunajabi, the Kumer tribe. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, let me type it out. The Kuna Jabi. No, no, Kuna Jabi. Or the the Ku. Oh no, the Ku Jabli. Because that was like the OG tribe when they were still uh, Kerbals, until I uh, made it different. So any uh, Kerbal art that you see that is supposed to be of the uh, the Karan tribe, they are of the uh, the Kunajali tribe. They're they're the OG Karans. Yep, you got it correct. Kunajali. Sorry, Kunajali. The emphasis is always on the the first, unless it's like a a conjugated verb. I've actually been putting together in my. <laughs> when I rarely have free time. <laughs> uh, a dictionary. Coomer Jali. Yeah, you better believe it. I mean, it's kind of like, ho, oh, Sakadi. All of the. <laughs> it's funny, two of the tribes just sound inadvertently uh, inappropriate. We have the Coomer Jalis and the ho, Sakadis. Ho, Sakadis. Choose your Coomer! And what's funny is that uh, being a Coomer is one of the most sinful things you can do in uh, Karadan. I keep saying Karada, it's Karada. Can you tell that uh, I, I studied a lot of romance languages? The reason why this stresses on the first syllable of uh, Dushalian words is because uh, the reason why their language is, exists in the first place is because um, it's extremely difficult to hear in the thin, wispy air, which is why they chose clicks and harsh consonants. And if you emphasize the first uh, letter of the word, it helps kind of tune their ears to understand that you're speaking instead of making uh, animalistic groans and growls and hisses and snarls. Because most of their language, uh, uh, the the anglicized, the the letters and the consonants I'm speaking of are just human approximations because they're not human. They don't have human parts uh, in there, uh, and they have a lot of growls. They have a lot of like two of their clicks are technically unreproducible by the human larynx. 
Because it's supposed to emulate the sound of a firecracker. Or that's the approximation I'm giving. I couldn't even make the sound if I tried. I can't even even describe, perhaps, the proper sound that I would love. But approximations are approximations, and it's not like they're real. It's, it's just a con lane. Oh my fucking... Oh, that looks clean! Clean! <laughs> I kind of envision them being uh, Romelians, being from Ramiel. Maybe in this uh, continuity, they could be... You know, I haven't really thought a lot about Argon or Argon. It could be a fun uh, thing to make them Ar Argonians. <laughs> uh, people from Argon. Uh, so that'll give me an excuse to actually think about the culture. Do, do, do. Oh, I can't wait until we get to Halopy. The Argonians! Oh my god, the slaves are uprising! Oh shit! Oh wait, no. <laughs> Perfect sound for slave uprising. Yay! <laughs> you know, slave uprising is pretty, pretty fucking based. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe if I stopped speaking out of my nose, there wouldn't be so much flub in it. Yeah, that's true. The Dunmer weren't very nice to the Argonians. We're, we, they, they weren't. I don't, even, I, I don't have to ask you guys a hypothetical, were they? Because they weren't. Slavery is bad. I don't think that's a controversial statement. Hopefully. Hopefully it ain't. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, let's see. Actually, I should think about, uh, I probably said this earlier, but, uh, I've been thinking about, uh, making a proper world map of Dushal, and especially Karada. I've been obsessed with Karada lately. Or, sorry, Karada. Maybe Karada could be, like, the anglicized version of it, because that just sounds way more natural for me to say than, uh, than Karada. It's like saying Dushal. Like, technically, the actual Dushalian pronunciation would be Dlushal. Emphasis on the first, and they love the- they love the Dlu. Maps! 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 Yes! Yeah! <laughs> or the other Dudmer. Yeah, that could be a really fun stream, actually. Because, like, when I made maps in the past, it was always an existing map. I've never made, like, my own homebrew map. I think that could be really fun. And I love showing you guys world-building stuff, because it's, it's kind of educational, too, if you think about it. She looks so fucking cool. She looks like a high seer. They're supposed to be intimidating. Oh, yeah, I can't believe I totally fucking forgot about this. So, uh, the, uh, the Appenins, so there's magic, right, uh, in this, uh, in this system. But the important thing about the Appenins is that they, they specialize in a type of magic called Proculid magic. Uh, and it's essentially psychic-based magic. I mean, all magic is technically psychic, but Proculid magic focuses on the psyche. Uh, and that's kind of how they keep their society in line. Proficient magic users uh, just punish the shit out of defectors. The RPG. I know, I need to go back and work on it. I've just been working on 17 other things. 
hopefully once I graduate from school, I'll have the time to work on this because with the income I'm already making, uh, due to viewers like you, I love you guys. You've made so much shit possible for me. I'm not trying to make this into a, you know, jack-off chat stream, but I really appreciate you guys supporting me. It gives me a lot of hope for the future. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Um, hopefully, uh, I can just get a part-time job after, um, after graduating from college. And then focus way- because, like, with school, right? Uh, I'm not spending a, a lot of hours, like, on my study stuff, because I don't need to. I don't have a lot of classes. But, like, with work, if I have a part-time job and I'm working, like, six hours, maybe even four hours, three to four days a week, like, 20 hours a week, I don't have to take that shit home. Like, school, you have to take it home. You love me, too? I mean, assume you would. You wouldn't be here if you, if you didn't- If you didn't worship me. I'm really glad that uh, you guys appreciate the stuff I do. I've made a couple of- <laughs> I make a lot of sacrifices for you guys, because I love you. And I do it all because of uh, growth. I want to teach people about uh, how to make their own shit. I want to teach people about art, music, culture. This, this is way cooler than being a music theory professor. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass when I eventually... Uh, I say eventually become a music uh, professor. I want to, but I... After spending four and a half years in college, I'm kind of done with it. I want to, like, live my life a little bit. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm going to be 22 when I graduate. I know, yeah. <laughs> Potato's like... I'm only the moderator, because uh, I want to punish the people in this dickhead's chat. <laughs> this guy fucking hates my music, and, and he, he's really mean to me, so I'm going to troll the shit out of him. <laughs> no, Potato actually saved my ass uh, a ton of times, just being a moderator. What a fucking homie. Maybe down the line, uh, uh, I can think of the different cultures for Satir. Like, the things I will admit to not having thought of yet, I haven't really thought about Satir. I haven't thought about Vena. Vena is kind of like Earth's moon. Like, we could colonize it, but it would be kind of a lost cause to terraform it. Terraform it. Zide and bamboo are just like Earth's moon as well. But I don't really know like what their specific cultures are needed for. Um, I've thought a lot about Ushal and Karada. Maybe I am obsessed with these guys. I had to fix your haircut. You look like fucking Shinji, my guy. I haven't really thought about Athol outside of it's just a truck, it's a space truck sh stop. Yeah, that's really about it. Um, ha yeah, I haven't thought about Argon, ah, ah, Akul, and Meta. Haven't really thought about that. And I haven't thought a ton about Viper. I just know the general aesthetic. And Nerith and Faith, these are supposed to be like the manic pixie girl planets. <laughs> uh, but outside of that, I don't really know. So it could be fun to, to explore that. Uh, as, uh, as this project moves forward. Oh, you see, P Potato? That's exactly what I mean. You're always on top of it. I really appreciate you. We were just talking about how awesome of a mod you are. That's it. That's all that uh, we were talking about. Oh! Alright, let's make this match this color a little bit just a little bit now make it look not semi-transparent but perhaps tall pirate mommy man potatoes looking at booba how disappointing you're fired no just kidding 
Oh, I... I thought of... Oh. Oh, no. You know what I just fucking remembered? You know what memory that unlocked for me? There's a movie called Cat in the Hat. If you know what that movie is, I don't have to say any more. Oh my god, I can't believe I fucking remembered that movie. Oh shit. <laughs> I loved that movie as a kid. Uh, but looking back, I'm like, how? How did I even remotely like that music? You keep sucking yourself out. You know, you gotta get your music out there. Actually, you look a little bit weird with just the bottom of it. It makes you look like you have a an underbite, which is fine, but I don't want that for your character. You look even weirder with that. Oh yeah, uh, I guess all of the uh, high-ranking appendant officials, I guess the administrators, let's just call them that. They wear these very tight collars. Um, why? I don't know, it looks cool. That's, that's my character design process. I don't know, it looks cool. Oh hell yeah, let's listen to the music. Shit. Did you have like a, a low piano or something? Or was there another uh, instrument kind of like uh, doubling the melody? Pirate mommy. Pirate mommy. I really liked the, um, the, I liked how you took my advice about, um, oh shit, music. Uh, about pitch shifting it. That sounds really cool already. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I, I have to do an honorable composer's, uh, hold on. Let me guys show you a piece of that. Uh, it's not quite <laughs> completed yet, but all I have to do is just fix the intro. Uh, and maybe fix the ending, perhaps? I have to make sure that my fucking slave name- Oh, shh. My slave name is not visible. Even though I'm using my chosen name now. Alright, put that there. Zoom out, so they can actually fucking read the music. Get, a uh, window capture. Wait, what, what's this? Na 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 ba da ba da 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 Oh, oh, it's on, oh. Ah, oh, it's on top of Crater. Hmm. There we go. Neither is mine, so you are fine. Oh, yeah, I... I'm, uh... I actually, I, my, my university's been really cool about using my, uh... My, uh, my chosen name. Sometimes they'll slip on the pronouns, but I don't really blame them. Because it, it, four years and it suddenly changed. It's gonna take a... It's it's a little adjustment to make. I'm just glad they're using my name.
It's a weaker piece, because I, I actually wrote this during my freshman year. Uh, and uh, my idea was that I'm just going to transpose it, I'm going to arrange it for saxophones and just slap it together. There's a few things I, I had to change musically. Like, I changed the ending uh, because it was just, it was, uh, it didn't have this run here. It was just, ba 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 like, it was boring, and I think the run. Wow. And there was none of this key change stuff either. I thought that sounded kind of cool. It was epic! Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few, like, this, why? Oh, it's in concert pitch, that's why. I was like, I don't remember making that a fucking B double flat. Yeah, excuse me? B double flat or A double flat? Yeah, no. No, it's not supposed to be that way. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Just in case, I don't want you guys to see my slave name. Yep. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, how long? Oh, wait. No, never mind. Oh, shit, it did break. What? What? Oh, you're right, it, it did break. Bruh moment. Bruh. Oh. Oh. Alright, we're almost done with the, um... I know, sorry. <laughs> no, it was me. It was me, don't worry. Walkies? I hope you have a, a nice walk, Mr. Stone. Tell us of your adventures when you return. <laughs> no, it was just me score telling me if I wanted to, to save the changes, which I was like, no! No! I don't want to save those changes. I actually, I made, um, I was in a meeting with my, uh, composition professor. Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh. Want to focus? Oh, <laughs> pushing the paper around. Oh, there we go. All I had to do was juke and jive. Uh, I made a, a ton of notes. Oh, that, wow, that's fucking with the camera. Um, just during my um, short meeting. And uh, it's just format and stuff. Anyways, check this out. Oh. Wanna focus? I just did a, a quick study uh, earlier this uh, afternoon. I have a couple of studies, but I, I I actually I draw all the fucking time off a of stream. I just don't show you guys. Because it's it's just that. It's just supposed to be studies. It's nothing important. Alright, let's do a, a quick stretch before we go on to the Halopians. Not a lot to say about the uh the Halopians, if I have to be honest. Because uh I haven't really uh thought about them too terribly much, but I have, like, the, the, the foundation for what their uh, deal is. I mean, because again, they're, they're just supposed to be a little bit basic. Everything, everything is important to us. Oh. Oh, oh, I saw the, oh god. I was gonna talk about the uh, constellations, because that's actually super important to the lore. But, um, and I, I found the sketches of the constellations, but I forgot, I must have misplaced them. I need to organize my papers, that's something I'm gonna do after I graduate. I could do it now, uh, but it's just, it would take a little while. And I'd rather spend that time doing more productive things, like, uh, studying. 
All right, so Halopy. Halopy is Earth, essentially. It's where the, uh, it's the origin of the, uh, the Halopians. Or, sorry, the origin of Wanderlings in general. They, uh, they evolved kind of, so, let's talk about ancient, like, prehistory. Not even caveman Wanderlings, but let's go a little bit. Oh my god. I need to, like, focus my chi. Orion's arm. Dinolings. There's actually a ton of fucking dinosaurs in the uh, animal catalog. That could have been a. That was actually one of the. Uh, for those of you who aren't in our Discord, let me link it. So, uh, on Wednesdays. Dick Sword. On Wednesdays, we have Wildcard Wednesdays in chat. Or uh, not even just chat. Everyone in our community, they get to vote on uh, what we want to do. And on Fridays, we have lore streams. And, uh... They get to... They get to vote on what sort of lore they, they want me to ramble on and on about. And, uh... For this week, one of the options was to learn about the various animals from Wander Ventures, which is the TTRPG all of this lore is from. It's my own... It's my own thing. Oh god. And no, they always look so evil and soulless before you add the glint. Uh, anyway. Uh, where was I? Where was I? I know, it is the glint of life. Like, soul. Oh. Oh my god. That is so fucking kawaii. Oh my. That is so fucking kawaii. I think I'm gonna scream. Anyway. Uh, ancient, ancient. Uh, wandering war. So, just like how humans evolved, uh... So humans are apes, right? I'm not gonna say they evolved from chimpanzees, because that's not how evolution works. Uh, but they evolved alongside chimpanzees, as well as the, uh, the other hominids. Um, the equivalent for wanderlings would be... Uh, the closest thing on Earth would be frogs. And I, I call wanderlings frogs, because that's essentially what they are. Um, but specifically, they're from... No, we need to go back even further. <laughs> even further! Further, 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 further! Uh, so in the lore, there's normal amphibians, but then there's like these plant-based amphi amphibians that started uh, having a symbiotic relationship with various different types of... Um, of uh, sea life, like, er, sorry, sea vegetation, such as algae, uh, lily pads, uh, kelp, and so forth. And, uh, some of those amphibians, uh, evolved to become wanderlings. So wanderlings are essentially frogs, but they're, like, plant-based frogs. They're 100% free-range, all-natural, organic, plant-based. Based? <gasps> Someone say based? So that's essentially their idea. Um, they kind of evolved to not become so dependent on water. Like, they still need water to breed, uh, just like normal amphibians. Uh, and they just kind of like how uh, most, actually all vertebrates, I don't know why I said most, uh, the, I should say the progenitor to all vertebrate species evolved from fish, right? Because fish are, you know, they were like the OG vertebrates. Some of those vertebrates, like turtles, um, mammals such as uh, cetaceans, like dolphins, they went back into the water. They went back into the fucking drink to defy God. Um, 
wanderlings evolved to not depend so much on the water. Or sorry, they did. They evolved to not depend so much on uh, on the sun, because the point of having that symbiotic relationship was to not expend so much energy, because you could just get it from the sun. Uh, but the Wonderlings had an arboreal ancestor, and they needed a lot of fucking energy to move around and stuff. And since they were canopy dwellers, um, they weren't at the... I don't know if it's canopy dwellers. It's like the middle... Like you have the top of the trees, the middle of the trees, and then like the, the forest floor. They were... Uh, a, their ancestors were a species that... Uh, was somewhere between the forest floor and uh, the middle. So kind of like gorillas and chimpanzees. And, and they didn't get uh, all that sunlight. So, you know, their, their spines rigidized because of having to climb trees and to fight Halopi's gravity. Um, they had to cope without so much sun. So eventually, like, they still can get energy from the sun, but it's- you can't live like that. They still need to properly eat. They actually experienced this huge boom of cognitive function during their evolution, simply just by, uh, being a hyper-carnivorous species. But then there was, like, a mass extinction event because they, well, they ate too much animals and their main source of food was gone. Uh, but they were interbreeding at the same time with a herbivorous uh, sister species. And that sister species got the benefit of more brain power, uh, but they were like vegetarians, so they could survive the extinction event. So that essentially leaves the Halopian Wanderling uh, on its own. Oh, that looks so fucking cute. I want a hugger. <laughs> Why do I want to hug all wanderlings, even the mean-looking ones? I just want to hug them. I want to kiss them, and I want to, I want to like take them on walks. Like, look at that. Just look. Just take that in for a second. That is so fucking cute. Give them all walkies. They do need walkies. Are you kidding me? Oh, I need walkies too. I've been a very bad boy, I haven't been properly exercising, because I've been too busy with composition stuff. Re 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 But I haven't really thought about their history. Like when they were still Kerbals, I kind of imagined it mostly like uh, real life human history, but I feel like that's a bit unoriginal now that it's a now that it's an original thing. Hmm. <laughs> Now, just don't forget, this ain't Kung Fu, come on again. I know, time to become speculative historians. I feel like, so, um, in the current lore, all, uh, every different race either thinks that they are the progenitor, uh, or they think that uh, they came from Chasse. Okay, well, it's complicated. The inner solar system people are like, oh yeah, we, we came from Halopy. There's like overwhelming evidence. But there was a time when Ramiel became uh, an independent state from Halopy, uh, where they had this huge propaganda thing where they were like, okay, well actually, Wanderlings came from Chasse. They did not come from Halopy. That's Halopian propaganda. When that's... Uh, no. But everyone in the outer solar system thinks that everyone came from Chasse. Or sometimes people are like, Oh yeah, we actually came from Sandra. Or sorry, Sandra. Um, uh, but the various consensus in the outer solar system is, Oh yeah, we came from one of the moons of Ramiel. Or perhaps even Ramiel itself, because it's green. You know, wear green, put two and two together. Chicken? Chimpkin? I'll have chi Oh. Gross. Edible and be cooked and 
once the, uh, this disgusting. That would be a bitch to cook. You would have to like put it in the oven for ten hours, and the outside would be all burnt and shit. Mmm. Mmm. Now, just don't forget. Oh, where am I? Oh, right, right, right. Um, so the deal. Oh, right, right. The reason why I brought that up. Uh, so because there's like a confusion where Wanderlings originally came from. Uh, oh fuck, what was the reason I brought that up? Oh, um, most, if, if like basic facts like that can be mistaken, then I feel like the, uh, let's say pre-colonization, uh, history pre-interplanetary uh, history, I should say, um, is just kind of lost to time. Like, perhaps not even the Halopians know their their own history. You are so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. <gasps> Dino? Dino? <gasps> oh my god. I've seen the side version. I've never seen the front. Hey, we actually have an animal like this. Hold on, wait a minute. We have the dire bird. He's so chunky. Oh, I love the dire bird. Hey, welcome back, Holstein. No, where is it? Where is it? I have to see the wanderling. Or, sorry, the dire bird. Bird, 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 bird. Oh my god. Oh, did you know we actually have, um, uh, a sister species, or I should say cousin species, they're not that closely related, called the trifle bird. I love the trifle bird. I should draw more of this creature. Oh, and we actually have an actual fucking dinosaur called the Perry. I should change the name because it sounds so fucking stupid. It's a Stegosaurus! That looks so fucking cool. I need to go back and, like, explore some of these animals, because they look really fucking cool. Like, some of the earlier ones are a little basic, but then you get more and more advanced and larger. Uh, like the scat- like, look how cool the scatterer looks. Or the snapper. The skyfish is pretty based. Piggy. Oh, the Tanae. Oh, I forgot about this creature. Oh, oh god. Oh, that looks so fucking cool. Anyway. What? No. Uh, this one. There's too many layers! Um, but the, uh, the contemporary culture on Halopy. So Halopy, after the 5,000 uh, years of warring with uh, Epena, they've become kind of isolationist. Uh, and that must have been several tens of thousands of years ago at this point. Um, so they've been kind of quiet and kept keeping to themselves. Like, they still engage in trade with the rest of the solar system, but foreigners are not allowed in. Which kind of doesn't help their case of being the origin- or doesn't help their case the, of the Romelian propaganda that Wanderlings are not from. Halopy. Uh, as well as some other- uh, the Appendants, actually, because they're kind of in cahoots with the, uh, the, the rum aliens. And mind you, uh, the clades, the clade names, I mean, are different from the people from that planet. Like, this is a, a representative <laughs> of the Romelian clade. But when I say Romelian, I don't mean, uh, in, in, the, in this context, people from Ramiel or Argon. 
I just really mean people from Romeo. Just in case uh, that wasn't clear. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, I drew this picture three gajillion years ago. Oh man, I should probably try redrawing this picture. It's such a cool idea. So this takes place on Ramiel, and uh, one of the moons, Sandra, sorry, Sandra, is looming above. So this is an export ship. Who knows where there's where they're taking these animals? Uh, but this is a dire bird, and from the height of it, it looks like a juvenile dire bird. It's pretty tiny looking, and it just broke free. And it does not look very. Oh, oh! It doesn't look very happy to have a uh, have breached containment. Yeah, there were some bangers from way back then. Bangers. So if they're isolationists, what exactly do they do? Uh, so there's this kind of. Um, and the isolationist goes for the insiders as well. Insiders are not allowed to uh, leave their permanent quarantine uh, unless they're like a trucker or something. Which then there's like a lot of there's a lot of procedures and waiting and paperwork that they have to do if they want to leave. But uh, if you're just leaving for leisure, you cannot come back. So it's usually only the. Uh, the, the truckers that get the privilege of being able to come back after leaving. But it's such a fucking hassle. Garium, actually, from Ruined on Jupiter, he it, it kind of uses the same lore. Earth is an isolationist state. Uh, and he, he was a space trucker. But uh, he just inadvertently pissed off the Earthlings. And well, they didn't take very kindly to that, and they permanently banned him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they just fucking, uh... Just- Oh my god, yeah, they did that to him. Dear lord. He got the boot, that's for sure. You are so cute, darling. Oh my god. Typically, um... Halopians have dark-ish skin. Just like with Earth, you can have- it, It's actually quite easy. Um... It's quite easy to have uh, light skin, dark skin. Just with the inner planets, they're because they're so fucking close to the sun. That's why uh, that specific reason actually is the uh, is my reasoning for why the, especially when you get to Dushal, like the Dushalians, they can have like olive colored skin at the darkest, but it really drops off like. The Remelians and the Ar the Argon- the I don't want to say Argonians, <laughs> there has to be a better word. Uh, the, the Argon people. That's why they look uh, pretty anemic. And when you get to Viper- Arg- There's actually an animal in the TTRPG called an Arcanaut. That could be really funny, it's like, Oh, you know, I was just uh, helping this Argonaut the other day. Wait, no! No, yes! Okay, so the reason why I'm confused, so, hold on. So there is a creature called an Argonaut, uh, which is good. Like, you know, they're their own cephalopod, but there's also a creature called a sailing shell, which in real life is called, I think, an Argonaut. <laughs> so I was like, no, we don't have an Argonaut, there's just a creature that looks like an Argonaut. And then I was like, no, there is a creature called an Argonaut, but it's not an Argonaut. <laughs> Very good. Are they a noble people? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh my god, I'm hot. Oh, I'm hot and I need to stretch. Oh, shit. Mm. But hell yeah, brother. There's, um, there are space truckers. Yeehaw! What was I talking about? Oh, right. But by the time you get to Viper, 
they actually become completely monochrome. And what I mean by that, I mean they actually turn black and white. Uh, and their skin is a super pale white because they don't receive... So, if you don't know what square cube law is, it essentially it means that uh, if you're twice as far from a light source, you get one-fourth of the light. So, Halopi, right, let's say it gets one unit of light from the sun. Dushal is twice as far away and it gets a fourth. <laughs> um, Ramiel is like... What? Actually, let me check the uh, AU on it. Hold on. Redone lore. I forgot uh, how far away Ramiel was. Because all the planets are approximately like their solar system equivalents for acclimable 5 AU. So it's it's five times as far away from the sun, but gets 1 25th of the sunlight. So uh, on Ramiel, though, um, they do heavily believe in genetic modification. So there are normal, like, uh, people who are, can be born with dark skin, but most of the population have just super pale skin because of how little sunlight they receive. Like lab frogs. I wouldn't say they have, uh, if anything, they almost look like ro robots because their skin is so shiny. Oh, ah. oh I want to talk about Romelian War right now because, oh, there's so much lore. But we, 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 we gotta get through, we gotta go in or. Yeah, not an or. Not in order, we gotta go in or. I love English. Yeah, let's let's make you have still dark skin, uh, but slightly lighter. This character is actually named Dina. And um, at one point she goes to Ramiel. So she's a police investigator. Uh, and she uh, she decided to go on a mission to Ramiel to uncover a a Romelian propaganda conspiracy. Uh, and she gets swooned by the great Mr. Dechelle. She doesn't she does in fact not encounter cosmic horrors. However, uh, uh, a bunch of the other characters do. Oh god. Oh gourd. Let's make it Wait, what am I doing? Uh, God, let me find a reference image of her. Beep, 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 beep. You know, these kids today, they're always playing on their fucking phones. I just don't understand it. Ba, 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 ba. I know I drew her a couple of times. I made a comic with her. Yeah, there we go. She's wearing a blue suit, not a white suit. Um, but, yeah, generally, uh, a good percentage of the people on, uh, on Halopy do have darker, kind of olive-like skin. But that doesn't mean there aren't, like, light-skinned indiv individuals, just like Earth. Man, I'm so used to just- like, that's such a boring fucking color! Gag me with a fucking spoon already! <laughs> Jesus Christ, make it a little bit more interesting. But brighter. But a little bit more fitting. There we go. Maybe a little bit more blue as well. I love. Oh, shit. Hold on. Ba -bum -bum, ba -bum -bum. I forgot to do the growy thingy. That's the most important part of coloring. At least with this style. Okay, that's good. I don't understand why you don't like cosmic horror. Um, there are kind of like independent. Uh, so the because of the the war, it actually did a great deal of uh, damage <laughs> to um, Halopies. Yeah, let's do the same eye color as well. Related? Are they related? Cause they have the same eye color? Oh my! 
Oh, that's not the sound I wanted, but I'll take it. Yeah. She looks like a disco queen. Do 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 boo 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 boo. She looks so precious. I would, uh, I would protect her with my life, honestly. Oh, apparently I saved a screenshot. Epic! Oh, that's, that's pretty fucking based. I'm not gonna lie. I want to become a cosmic horror. Oh, excuse me. I get so excited, you know. You know. Oh, oh dear. Casino here, casino there, casino in my hair. With no more time to spare. Casino here, casino there, casino in my hair, casino in my chair. Yeehaw! Oh, I'm so thirsty. Remember to hydrate. Hold on. If you got a Python sippy to share. Hydrating. Oh god, where was I? I don't quite remember. I'm just having fun. That's all I really need to have. Oh, oh, right, I remember the society. So, uh, most of the remaining societies on Halopy. Oh shit, I wasn't done yet. I was talking about how cute she was. I'm in love. You don't see the appeal? You don't have to. Wait, what kind of a... Uh, do you like uh, any horror at all? Senor Mudinho? I, I really do quite like all forms of horror. Unless it's like the campy sort of... <laughs> I don't really see the appeal of campy horror myself. But I think it's cute. I think it's endearing. Can't be horror. Can't be horror rock show. Can't be horror picture. Pic I'm gonna Rocky Horror commit seppuku myself. Oh my god, that looks clurred. Now, oh, you don't like ho Oh, that, that would do it. I used to not like horror, if I may be honest. But then I started creating my own, uh, my own content, and I was like, oh wow, horror is actually pretty fucking cool. I'm more of a, of a comedy man myself. But I don't dislike horror. Oh no! <laughs> she kind of looks like she has a five o'clock shadow. Um, so the remaining societies on, uh, on Halopy just kind of consist of uh, science-based groups, because they, they, on Halopy, they actually make a shit ton of super advanced, um, technologies to, um, to, uh, uh, to export to Ramiel and the other, uh, and the rest of the, uh, outer solar system. But, uh... Uh... It, it's kind of like the Glitter Worlds in RimWorld. That's kind of how Halopy uh, does its thing in this universe. Yeah, let's give you a secondary highlight as well. I think you need it, bitch! Also, let's give you a, an expression as well. You look, like, neutral, which is fine. But you look you look like you're constipated or something. 
Mind the shiny? Because it looks cool. Why not? She, this girl doesn't have it because I want, whenever you have super dark, dark colors in general, uh, at least on my monitor, it's kind of, it makes it busy. It makes it, it kind of ruins the, uh, the effect that it is something dark, right? Because the point of, of a dark object is that it doesn't reflect a lot of light. <laughs> but, like, this Dina here, she's not super, uh, like, she's dark skinned, but she's not, like, ebony. Like, uh, like Miss High Seer over here. Fuck, I need more water. Fuck! Pass! Bob Saget! Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. I am back, I am back from Daddy Getting Smokes. Hey, welcome. Hey, you came back from your little break just like I came back from mine. How was your walk? Oh, there was something I was gonna say before I, uh, I, uh, Fuck. Oh, right, the, uh, the different... Oh, what, the bum, bum, bum. What's so sad about it? Did you used to enjoy it with a loved one? Oh, and it needs to be darker. And go this way. If you go into the blue direction, it immediately just makes it darker, because blue is an inherently dark pigment. Or I guess color, I don't know. It's on an end of the spectrum, baby. Actually, technically it's on the brighter end. I don't know how the human eye works like that. Four unidentified four-legged objects. Four, two, sorry, two unidentified. <laughs> four-legged, four unidentified two-legged animals. <laughs> Smelled something burning. Ew. That doesn't sound like a pleasant walk at all. 
That sounds like a horrifically unpleasant walk. On most of my walks, I at least have the... I have the, uh... The good graces of uh, being next to a college campus, so they actually fucking take care of the infrastructure. For the most part. It was alright, for the most part. That's good. And it must be nice to get somewhat fresh air. I, I, I actually, my uh, apartment has a balcony. But it's like right over a fucking road, so <laughs> it like ruins the whole point of, uh, you know, of having a balcony. But it's it's a nice view. I get to see the, uh, the music hall, all the people coming in and out of it. I get to see the- so I, uh, the first dorm I lived in here, I lived in two dorms in my, uh, in my college time here. And I get to see the, the, the very first dorm I lived in. I fucking hated that place. I got- oh my god, the, uh, when I moved in to that dorm, I got the one fucking room in the entire dorm where it's facing a brick wall because it, it, it like the building curves and the window looks straight at a fucking brick wall. It was epic. Necromorph soup. I've never heard of the of the band Miracle of Sound. Mm. What do you mean it's not a band? Is it a painting? Sounds like a banger metal piece. She's got a slick ass suit. Holy moly. Holy moly. Whoa, holy. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, everywhere at the end of time. It's like that same sort of deal. That piece fucked me up. Having, uh, having, uh, degenerative brain diseases is one of my greatest fears. You know, as well as my other <laughs> fucking 50 greatest fears. Oh, right, fuck, I keep forgetting. Uh, case in point, Jesus Christ. The other societies on Halopi, they're just kind of like... I wouldn't say they're tribal, I, I would say it's kind of like the Wild West. It's like real cowboy shit, but mixed with the rice farming. Most, most Halopians leave uh, simple, boring, mundane lives. But the scientists, they, they, they get to do somewhat cool shit, like... Uh, like, make glitter world medicine and, uh, do cocaine. That's pretty- that's pretty epic. Remember, Mr. Streamer does not promote the use of cocaine. It is just a joke, Daddy Bezos. I wanna do video game-based music. To be honest, every time you do digital art, I get anxious. I remember all of my mistakes and problems I hit. And also, all the work I didn't deliver, because I wasn't good enough. Aww. Ludinho, you are far more than good enough. You were graded by, uh, uh, perhaps a system that tried to push you too far, man. If I could shoot any currently living animal out of a cannon, which would I choose and why? I would choose a lion, and I would aim it at the stadium during the halftime show and just see what happens. Like, the lion isn't hungry, it's just like, it's just chilling. And I shoot it, boom, out of the cannon, into the stadium, right in the middle of the halftime show, and no one knows it's coming, because there's already a, a cannon in the stadium. What, blue whale? <laughs> what do you mean a blue whale? Why would you choose a blue whale? 
I'm not gonna rebut you. I just wanna know. Is it because it's fucking huge and it can do massive amounts of damage? Actually, that's kind of smart, right? You have to take advantage. Because the- I'm assuming the cannon is like an SAP or something, right? Like, it, it can do- it can shoot any animal. But, uh, my- my amigo, my- my good friend, Ludinho. Don't tell- don't ever tell yourself that you're not enough. <laughs> oh yeah, where would you do it, Lich? Where would you shoot the, uh, the blue whale? Like, you should do it in a super crowded area, right? Oh my god, you must be psychic. I was just thinking, like, New Times- or Times New Square? New Times- oh. What? No! Whatever. You get a- Why am I being whipped? Anyway, we're almost done with Halopy. There's not, uh, not really a ton to say about it because I haven't really thought about Halopy yet. Yeah, why not whales? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah, you need a. I think it would be a very bogus. Alright, let's fix your hair before we continue, because you don't. You do not look good, my. My, my brother, Charlie. Take it easy. Logico. You look like your mom gave you a bad haircut. Danger. It, I guess it doesn't help uh, that they uh, have like weird heads. <laughs> like at least the other wanderlings have uh, have like uh, circle heads, so you can just put a fucking human wig on, essentially. What, you're going to Wales? Is it for a family reason? I wish I could go somewhere exciting in the country. My mom actually, uh, we're planning a trip to, uh, uh, we're planning a trip to New York. Not that I would know what to do in New York, but my, uh, my aunt, she lives in New York, so uh, maybe she could show us the ropes. Go to MoMA. What? I don't know what MoMA is, but I really like Dwarf Fortress. Traveler's Notes. I don't know what the Traveler's Notes are. Chet's talking about seven different things, and I don't know what any of them are. <gasps> modern Art? I like Modern Art. I make Modern Art. But I am taking this computer. What holidays happening up in the UK? Danger, danger, danger. I might, uh, so I'm not up until fucking 2 a.m. Uh, I might conclude the stream after going over the, uh, the Wanderling. Or sorry, the uh, the Dushalins and the Karans, because <laughs> it's already eleven. We've been streaming for four hours already. We're not even halfway through. It's notes. Oh, oh! I think you showed me that thing. It's like a huge writing project. Yeah, you can't go to New York unless you go to Old York. <laughs> 
so where do I even start with the Dushalians? So, uh, I think I said this earlier, but when the Halopians decided to- Oh my god, that looks fucking horrifying. Oh my god, Night Paralysis Demon JPEG. Hold on, we need to fix this. <laughs> like, a ASAP. Hold on. He looks like he's gonna fucking murder me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you don't look like you're gonna murder me. <laughs> I don't fucking sleep anymore. Oh shit, okay. That was horrifying. It was a whore. Oh my god. Everyone gangster until the walking pair of eyes from Pac-Man after you eat a ghost just start running after you. They asked if I wished... They asked if I wished to contribute, genetically or mentally, to the creation of a new set of modules. But I could not, would not, do so, and politely declined. I cannot give a part of myself to them. Even though I would lose nothing myself, I value my individuality, me being me, my being me, and regardless of how sugar-coated the pill, I would not give that up, even in a, in, even in a copy of my seal. I don't know why I got more and more uh, accented. What was I talking about? This is a lore stream, damn it. Oh, right, right. The reason why I zoomed out in the first place. So, uh, when Halopy started- the people of Halopy, the Halopians, the Halo spit ropians started to become interplanetary. Uh, they looked at Dushal first. They were like, oh, that looks epic! Oh, oh. They're gonna go to the desert planet first. So that was the first, uh, um, thingy for colonization. So the Dushalian clade is actually the second oldest out of the, out of the five. The oldest, of course, being the Halopians. I, I would say the third oldest would be the Apennins. And then the Ramielians. Or Ramelians. No, Ramielians. Rum aliens? And then the the Viperian cloud. Or sorry, the the What would you call this? The the It's like Plutoids, the Oort Cloud. Oh, the Viperian belt, right, because we have the Kyperian belt. Here's the Viperian belt. Uh the Viperians are the the youngest clade. Because, go figure, uh, with the Wanderlings, they fucking, they looked at every single planet, dwarf planet or not, and were like, let's terraform and colonize it, that's epic! Even though it's a lot of fucking energy to do so. Actually, um... Uh, that uh, that excerpt, Stephen, reminded me of the original Pythania comic, which is it's lost to time. Like I I fucking deleted everything, but uh, one of the main themes was individuality, because uh, uh, um, I could I could I could talk about that, but I don't. Oh, this is a. Uh, a, a wanderling lore stream. Maybe one day down the line I'll talk about that comic. Mm. Anyway. Because Dushalians are the oldest clade, they have a lot of, um... They have a lot of complexities. Why is this brush the size. It should be bigger, faster, stronger, more than ever. Hour after hour, work is never over. At least my work doesn't seem to be over. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Um... Uh... So, uh, each planet has several different, uh, languages, of course, but Dushalian is- 
I, I say, so like the Duchai and Kamling I'm making, it's kind of like Hochdeutsch. Uh, it's kind of like just the standard version. Uh, so like the languages are a little bit more tightly knit on any given planet than like the differences between uh, French and Spanish, right? But they're still both Romance languages, and you can uh, go back to Latin and see the, the progenitors of a couple of the words. Rest in peace, bureaucracy. Finishing the main story? <gasps> I'm so happy for you, Potato. I wonder if there's a good post game. Hell yeah! Oh god, where, where was I? Um. So the deal about. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So I, I mentioned way early on. What do you mean the O. Henry chocolate bar? Is that one of your Canadian things? Is that one of your uh your Canadian things, eh? That's my Canadian accent. I hope you liked it. I swear to god, I- it's a fucking miracle I'm still alive. It- it always hurts to swallow. Well, it doesn't hurt to swallow, I just- I've always had great difficulty swallowing. I've never even heard of O. Henry. Oh, oh, right, right, the aesthetic. So each planet is supposed to have its uh, aesthetic. Satyr is, um, yeah, like Egypt, but uh, if they, uh, uh, at the same time as uh, the Egypt, the Egyptology craze in the early 20th century, Epena is like the super, uh, super far future dystopian uh, Chinese fantasy. Halopi is kind of like a 20 minutes into the future, but plus like uh, some uh, uh, Afro-Latin influences. Oh yeah, this won't be finished. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stop at uh, this guy, but I will post it into the Discord. Uh, for your enjoyment, of course. Coffee crisp? Is it a coffee candy? Three exp Oh my god. Holy shit, I hope you have a good night, Steven. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. And enjoy your weekend. Oh. I've never heard of coffee crisp either. The only- uh, What's coffee crisp? I also don't know- it probably could be an American candy, but I, I've never heard of it, because I don't eat a lot of candy. I want to, but I just never buy it when I'm out. Oh shit, right. Uh, Duchal is, um, kind of- it's like, as you can see here, kind of Greco- more, more so Roman, but actually fucking barbaric. Well, uh, Karan, you, you you guys know the deal about Karan. I, I talk about Karan at fucking every stream. Athel, not really anything in mind. Ramiel is retrofuturistic, this gay European 70s camp. It's. I love Ramiel. Haven't thought about Argon. Viper is like 1930s gangster, mafia, mob boss shit. I love it. I haven't really thought about near the faith yet. Uh, when I say that Duchal kind of has this like <coughs> Roman thing going on, it's mostly for the uh, more. Uh, uh, I think I can actually use the term developed because the uh, there's not even like really tribes. The tribes would be as developed as the cities, like socially. But then there's these fucking feral. And I'm not saying this as a derogatory term. They're actually fucking feral. They're animals. Uh, these people who run around. And it's not like in a tribal sense that they're running around. Like they legitimately believe that they are uh, animals. 
They hatch from the eggs with no parents and run around the plains. It's, it's gorgeous. They're actually kind of hunted by each other as well. It's a little bit brutal. I love nature. But uh, out of the entire... Uh, so Dushal, it's like the size of Mars. So it's, it's a pretty sizable place. But um, there's only... Um, there's only 6,000 native Dushalans on the entirety of the planet. Yeah, I'll check it out. Avile Nishts. I'm surprised. Canadians seem to get a lot of American stuff, but it doesn't really seem like vice versa. Because you guys talk about all sorts of shit I've never even heard of. But anything I can name of, you guys are like, oh yeah, oh, we can just pop down to the deli and see it. Oh yeah, there. Wow, wow. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah, you can do that with the color brush. Yeah, I don't want to erase it. I'm too lazy. It's getting late. I want to wrap this bitch up. Can you? <laughs> Python answered what? What did I answer? What, Sonny? Can you repeat that? Oh, oh yeah, believe it or not, yeah. I, I think I know what you're referring to. Sometimes I, I just fucking miss shit in chat. Oh god! Mr. Streamer! Sign up for Mint Mobile. I don't even know. I think I'm using AT&T. Because I'm just on my parents' phone plan. Because they're really nice. And they like to pay for my uh, phone stuff. I'm really quite grateful. I, I, <laughs> I dread the day I'm going to have to buy my own phone stuff. Because that's not cheap. Um... So the, uh, the thing about Dushalans, like, not Dushalans of Karans, I mean specifically about the desert people, uh, they don't really do well in society, which is why society is so rare on Dushal. Because they're not really social creatures, they kind of evolved specifically to um, compete with one another in a survival situation. Not to share, not to care, not to hold hands, and, and be little pussy baby bitches. Oh god. Bruh. You get a bra and a bonk. Uh, oh god, where was I? Why do I always lose track of myself? Um... Oh, God. I don't remember. Oh, uh... The, the main reason why cities do exist at all on, uh... On Duchel Celebrations? I've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Like, the, all these kinds of candies could be at various, like, uh, chocolatier stores. Uh, but most of the candies I see is, like, when I go to the gas station or when I go to, um... Uh, go to... Um... Oh yeah, I know Mars. The, the company. 
but I'm telling you, I don't buy a ton of candy. I'd rather spend my very little money on actual healthy food. Some of the, the good candy bars can be really fucking expensive. It's like three bucks for a tiny little baby bitch bar. Like, what? I ain't gonna spend money on that. No way, shoddy. Oh shit, you're supposed to have spiky fingies. You're a horrible representative. Oh yeah, that's one of the things that they're supposed to have spiky little fingies. But I'm too lazy to fix it. Bruh. Fuck, you made me lose my train of thought, goddammit. It was barely on the tracks and you just pushed it right off. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, right, the uh, the main reason why the Dushalians have societies, or I guess towns and cities in the, in the first place, is only because of the of a interplanetary pressure like it's it's kind of um it's kind of uh it, do shines and karans are pretty isolated from the rest of the solar system especially uh the native do they do not want anything to do with the drama of the rest of the solar system like, even if you do live in a civilized society, they don't really, uh, believe in, uh, electricity, they don't really do the whole renewable, uh, sustainable energy sort of thing. The Karans are a little bit better than the, than the Rushalians, because they believe in steam power, they believe in mechanical calculators. But they don't really... They're, they're quite afraid of, uh, of uh, embracing the technological side of things. Like, most Dushalians don't even know how to fucking read, because they don't think it's necessary. Why, why should you have to read when you can perform gory tasks for our god, Dushal? <laughs> Bounty? I know bounty for their paper towels. I think I got a couple of bounty paper towels. My mom, every time- so whenever she comes down, she gets groceries for me. Which is an, an extremely nice gesture. But she always gets like the shittiest fucking <laughs> uh, brand of paper towels. And it's like, you do realize that you can just spend two bucks more and have a paper towel that can actually handle a spill instead of like shitting its pants. Like having to use the entire half roll to clean up one mess. Non spawn, by the way. Bounty just does the job. I got a simp for Bounty. Is your is your favorite streamer puking all over his desk and making a big fucking mess? Just use Bounty! Sand oh, I actually have to use a type of sandpaper for my uh, for my clarinet reads. I hate coconut. You know that's base. I fuck coconut, man. I fucking hate coconut. It the smell makes me pissed. Can't be remissed. Gonna go to the mall and buy some pants. Bruh. I hate coconuts. I hope you guys like my bars. Don't steal them. That's for my, uh, my secret rhyme book. Yeah, that's about as good as I, as, a, as it's gonna get. Um... Um, I guess the Karans are, uh, they do most of the heavy lifting, because uh, they're technically a representative, a representative of Dushalian society in general, because they actually tolerate foreigners. 
I don't know what Galaxy is. We have Dove Soap and we have the Dove Chocolate Bars. Bars? Oh, okay. I thought I was on the wrong layer and I was about to get past! I was about to get so fucking angry. Oh, I probably said this earlier, but most of the people uh, on Dushal, they don't wear clothes. You know, being uh, essentially animals. Even though it's super fucking cold. Branded differently. It's- it's- I fucking hate capitalism. Ugh. Oh. Um, uh, the Dushal and Clay- I- I guess, like, Dushal and its moon, they- they heavily believe in magic. Uh, so magic is technically possible by every living being, but some planets are, uh, it's more socially acceptable and therefore supported by the, uh, the local astrology. Oh yeah, and astrology, unlike real life, is actually, uh, it actually does something. Looks like an arrow. I don't know what an arrow bar is. What the fuck kind of weird ass candies are you talking about? <laughs> Get all this. Oh! Gamer candy? Oh! <sighs> of course, it's one. F it's one fucking line. I swear to God, Krita. It's one line! It's one fucking line! Oh my. That's what I feel like doing to Krita. Whipping it. Oh, yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. Man, pie. If you ever <laughs> I did. I have. I've had Hershey's chocolate bars. I love Twix. I love Kit Kat. Uh, I like the... I... Oh, wrong layer. I don't know what brand it is. But it was like a cool... Uh, oh, whoopsie daisies. It was a cool chocolate and chips bar. I think it was from Hershey. No, I don't- I've never had a Wonder Bar, but I've heard of Wonder Bar. Oh, wait, no, fuck. Shit, that's the German word, right? Is that a- is that, is that a candy? Oh no, that looks like- There we go. Maybe a little bit more red. Oh, oh! Oh, it is a candy. Uh, I've never had a Wunderbar. Wunderbar! Sorry, I gotta say it in the- Jamal! Jamal! <laughs> you know, I studied- I actually did study German. That hurt for me to say. A, I've never heard of a score bar. Oh, Wunderbars are good. Is it a fucking expensive ass candy? Because if it's a good- if it's a good candy bar, it's probably expensive as shit. <gasps> oh, I love that color scheme. I guess there's not a lot to, to talk about Dushal, because I talk about Karada a lot. Uh, and I've talked a, a ton about Dushalian culture. It's kind of basic if you think about it, because they don't really have a culture outside of just beating the stuffings out of each other. They love the color red. Uh, they'll actually take the blood of their opponents and just smear it all over their little froggy faces. Rapadura. Yeah, I love Kit Kat. That's one of my- I love chocolate bars that have like wafers in them. You know what, Mudinho? I think it- I still need to do my candy tier list, and I think it could be fun to try some uh, non-American candies. I think the only non-American candy, besides like some uh, Japanese treats I've had... Um... It was- oh, it was like this weird spicy Mexican candy. I didn't like it. Because I was expecting something sweet and I got something fucking 
<laughs> spicy instead. You know, depending on how much it is, I'd be willing to pay for it. I mean, we could have a stream where I'm just trying different candies. Ooh, that's a good color scheme. Wow, she looks so much more intimidating. <laughs> like, I look at her and it's like... <laughs> and then you just get to, like, these two and it's like... Oh. Ketchup. Oh my god. So, I didn't know the Canadians liked ketchup flavored... Bruh. Ketchup flavored shit until Potato was like, Mmm, yummy. I love ketchup flavored chips. And I'm like, is that a meme? And then he got offended. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. Yeah, that sounds like an adult drink. That's all my mom fucking drinks. She drinks Diet Pepsi Diet Coke. That's like she drinks that instead of water. Ketchup chicks. Is <laughs> Don't whip me. No. Oh god. Oh shit. He has a gun too. Oh my god. Oh, he's throwing stuff. Space Raiders. What the fuck is Space Raiders? The game. Oh no, that's Space Invaders. <laughs> 300 IQ Pyth and his infinite wisdom. Oh, he, he turned yellow! He's the color of peasant chat! Anyway. Um, oh, I was talking about magic earlier and their, uh, their views on it. So, magic is- yeah, it can be done by anyone in the solar system, but it's primarily, uh, the- the more tribal, I should say. I don't have a better word than tribal. Uh, the more tribal of the society- or I guess the more tribal a society is, the more they're cool with, uh, the more cool they are with magic. Like, the Dushalians use a ton of fucking magic, the Karans use a ton of magic. That's not to say people like the the Halopians can't. It's they they heavily frown upon it slash make it. Uh, they have a lot of societal um, pressures so that people don't even know magic exists, and, and if they do find it out, they're punished for it. Top ten Canadian candies. Top 10 Canadian candies. Number one, Matt Toffee. I don't think I've had a, a good toffee in several years. Freeze it and smash it. So just put it outside and smack it against your house wall. It's cold enough in Canada to do that, right? Eat more. What, what's all this fucking. No. Peanuts? I ain't gonna eat shit with peanuts in it. No way. Big Turk. Turkish Delight. I've never had a Turkish Delight. Maynards. Say big money at Menards. You guys, do you guys have Menards? That's a very Midwest. <laughs> Gumdrops, huh? Oh, here's my gums. Oh, no, fuck you. I ain't gonna sign up. What the fuck do you think I am? Gummy. I kind of like gummy fruity candies. Oh, here we go. Arrow bars. You guys were simping for this in the chat. Oh, I only had... I... So, I think it was a, a, a... I don't remember what kind of bar it was. It had like the bubbly... Uh, like the air bubbles in it. It, it. I don't see the appeal of air bubbles. I was like, okay, this is just a normal fucking candy bar. Oh, crispy wafers. Oh yeah. I like, I like wafers and chocolate. I love that shit. 
I don't know how I would feel about the coffee, but I like the taste. I, I, the sens the sensation, but I don't like actual coffee. Oh yeah, Smarties. We have another candy called Smarties, but they're not this. Eat the red one. You eat the red ones last. Based. Thrills. Beautiful purple gum. Soap-like flavor? What the fuck? Whoa, nice graphic! No. I ain't gonna eat fucking soap candy. What's wrong with you? Palomine. Stone, you're so Eurocentric. Or sorry, ethnocentric. I always say Eurocentric. Y you! Yo! What's this? Ooh, I like fudge. Oh, no. No, no coconut. I think the reason why I don't eat a lot of candy is because I'm super picky. I don't like peanuts in my fucking chocolate. Alright. I'm fine with chocolate and I'm fine with peanuts. But I fucking hate them together. And I fucking hate coconut. I like dark chocolate though. Oh, I fucking hate these. They're not called uh, Maltesers here. But, um. Yeah, they're, they're called Whoppers here. I fucking hate Whoppers. I don't know what the fuck it is about them, but they just taste disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. <laughs> no, I do not like chocolate nuts in my mouth. Thank you. I like normal. Okay. I don't want to say normal nuts. <laughs> oh, my, my inner American is showing. I want uh, nuts without any of the shit on them. No, uh, no white chocolate, no dark chocolate. What? Why can't I color over this? Oh, that's why. I had the wrong color selected. No dark chocolate, no white chocolate, no milk chocolate, no red chocolate, no fudge. I just want the peanuts. Oh yeah! Do you- maybe Canada colonized the UK. And that's why they speak- they both speak English. Oh, with the lighting? He looks... It's like, oh, cute! Terrifying. <laughs> I do like salty nuts in my mouth. You get a bonk through the head. Oh, what's... What is your favorite type of... of... What's your favorite type of nut? I love cashews. Cashews are so fucking good. Oh my god. Like, lightly roasted, salted cashews. Peanuts are also pretty good, too. And before- Actually, Mr. S uh, Mr. Streamer, peanuts aren't actually a nut. Ooh, I haven't had pepper with my cashews, but pepper can only make them better. Ooh. You know, maybe I should find some cashews when I go out for groceries tomorrow. We only have to, when they decide, you have to pay out the nose for the security. What? What the hell are you talking about? What are you on about, Mr. Harold? Oh, he turned green! Oh my! Oh yeah, yeah. I was- the- the other day I was watching, uh, an Olympic, like, every, uh, recorded Olympic intro. Uh, and the Queen spoke at, like, fucking ten of them. <laughs> and she was at Canada, like, two times, and I'm like, why is- why is the Queen here? <laughs> 
<laughs> this ain't her fucking domain, is it? The whole fruit? I think it's just the, the thing on top, right? Because when I'm thinking of cashew, I'm thinking of, um... Because I know that cashews... Cashews are fucking weird. Because it's like the bean, you know, the actual... The cashew, and then there's like a, a fucking fruity body on the bottom of it. I thought that's actually toxic. Or no, wait, isn't the cashew toxic and that's why it's roasted? I'm not sure if I'm remem remembering that correctly. Canada is hers. The queen fucking owns everything, but goddamn America. We live in a society. They're 30%. <laughs> okay, it is the fruit. I was gonna say. I know that one of them was fucking inedible. Cashew juice? I've never had cashew juice. I'd be down to try it. It sounds weird. Wait, it isn't? Make up your mind, Luginio. I guess he is from South America, right? You know? That's where that shit comes from. I feel like if there's anyone in this chat who knows about cashews, it's sitting your video. Why does he look so mean? Stop being mean. He looks like he's about to... You know, this... Okay, he's gonna tickle you. Now he's gonna murder you. <laughs> oh, shit! Have you seen, uh, Mudinho, have you seen a, an actual, like, cashew plant in real life? That'd be pretty boggers. It'd be pretty boggers. I think I'm gonna reheat a pizza after the stream. We're getting a little hungry. I am not eating a lot of pizza though, because uh, my stomach is still a little bit upset. The Commonwealth realms gag me with a fucking spoon. Yeah, you can tell uh, uh, the royal family rules over Australia because how about their fucking state names are? It's like. Victoria, Queensland, like just gag me already, fucking jacking off the royal family. They're like, listen, if we don't name the the, the provinces these names, uh, we're gonna get, we're all gonna get hung, and not in the cool, funny, horny way. Whole lot of other shit, but they fought her off. God save the queen. Sometimes I feel bad for, uh, for your people having to live under that rule. But then I realize I'm in America. It's not much better. <laughs> you had one- Oh shit! So did you, like, get to harvest your own cashews? That's really fucking cool if, that, if, if that's true. I never- I lived in the country, Mudinho, but I never had any cool fruit trees. We had juni uh, ju juniper trees, uh, and apparently the little blue uh, berries, they're not actually berries, but they're like edible. Uh, apparently they are edible. Not that I would fucking trust to eat one from a wild tree, but they looked cool enough. Made juice. I'm, I'm curious now, what does cashew juice entail? You just press them? Squeeze them? Suck them? Okay, <laughs> that was way more horny than, uh, than I, uh, intended it to sound. Oh, oh, it's like, a, it's opaque. Oh yeah, there's the, there's the fruit shit. Yeah, Americans don't, we don't get the fruiting, like the fruit looking body, we just get the nut on top, we get the little brown thing. 
and we get huge tins of it. I love cashews. They're so expensive though, so I haven't had them in a while. I think I could treat myself, but I did just get a pizza. Hmm. Choices, choices. Too many choices to make. I love making smoothies, though. Like, if I had my own uh, little garden, I would love to grow my own spices. I guess I could, if I wanted to, make a little... Um little spice garden, because they don't really require that much maintenance, and they don't require that much space. Oh yeah, weren't they, um, like, cousins? First or second cousins? I did know that they were related. I love royalty. Oh. Oh, hold on. Stop it! Oh my god. For so sometimes when I'm writing a lore, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not a family tree, it's a family wreath. <laughs> oh. Gotta keep the blood pure, you know? <clears throat> oh, it's not letting. Oh shit! Oh no. It is a family wreath. Look, it's perfectly symmetrical. It's a family bush. Perfectly pruned. Just the way God intended it to be. So, their great-grandparents were Siblings? Is that what this is saying? Parent, grandparent, great grandparent. Ugh. I feel like that's fairly distantly related, but that's still. That's. Uh. It's so like third cousin, maybe? That's still nasty. And they knew. I mean, it's worse in America. I think in my state, um, it's actually legal for for you to marry your first cousin, not not second cousin, your first cousin. That is totally legal here, and I think it's fucking disgusting. I hope they change that. I'm pretty sure it's legal. I remember seeing a law. When I had to take the, uh, the constitution test in high school. Ah, the royals. Alright. We're almost done here. I'm sorry I haven't had a lot of lore to say. I, I mostly just spat everything out at the beginning. This is just, uh, bonus content for you cute little cucks. Oh dear. In fact... Hello? Can I, uh, there we go. I'm gonna re uh, preheat the oven. Actually, um, without uh, compromising their identity, uh, you didn't hear it, you, you didn't hear this from me. So, uh, I had a couple of my cousins, so, uh, and they're in a different state that I don't know the laws of, but I had, uh, one of my parents' siblings, his kids, so my direct cousins, uh, my uncle, uh, actually adopted a couple of kids. But then they, uh, nat they, con they naturally conceived one, but for some reason they wanted to adopt more. Why? I don't fucking know. That's just what they wanted. Um, but at one point, and I don't know if it, if it ever turned into anything, because I don't pay attention to my extended family. I fucking hate my extended family. Uh, except for, like, two people. Um, 
they started having a relationship. Like one of the one of his biological kids and one of his adopted kids, and it everyone was they just happened to be cool with it, and it's like they're still like siblings, right? That, that's fucking gross. Victoria. That bitch had a whole fucking era named after her. Damn, shawty! Damn, shawty! Damn, shawty! Yeah, let's make your uh, golden armor. Oh yeah, the uh, I guess the the last bit of lore I have to spit at you is uh, I don't feel like the uh, the Dushalians. They kind of understand basic metalworking, but uh, they don't really get the idea of uh, steel working. So they're kind of in the Bronze Age right now. After a hundred thousand years of potential, um... Actually, at one point, the Dushalians were, uh, a technologically advanced society just like the Halopians, but they had a huge societal crumble uh, whenever they started adopting emperors. So that was kind of the beginning of the end. Like, at first, uh, it was just kind of like a cult idea, but that turned into... Oh, we have an emperor now, and everyone was like, oh, okay, you do you, shoddy. And then it just fell apart from there. Ugh, that's fucking disgusting. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, look at what we, what we did tonight. I'm gonna export this. Um, let me erase this stuff. To the disc, to the dick sword. Oh, whoopsie daisies! Don't don't erase all that hard work. Uh, here, let's make sure that I'm actually erasing everything that needs to be erased. Ooh, that always looks so cool to me. I love that color choice. Maybe we can go back and uh, redraw some of these characters. Yeah, ancient Egypt was like, well, I fucked my brother, and now I'm pregnant, and now he's the new king of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Let me actually uh, export this. So I was planning on uh, trying an animation project this weekend, but uh, well, I mean, it's I guess it's good to have too many Whoa, commissions, nice and then not enough. Right. Let's go find someone to raid. I'm tired. I'm a little hungry. Beep, 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 beep. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Let's see. I hope you rest well. I wanna get- I've been going to bed at like 2 a.m. the last couple of days and I've uh, uh... I've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier than that. Um, yeah, look forward to art in the dick sword. I'll do my best to, uh, give you guys some more, uh, passive entertainment in the form of silly doodles or cool drawings. Thank you guys for coming! Are you kidding me? Oh shit, I forgot to press the raid stream button. <laughs> Epic! Um, they're doing a, a cool community thing. It's 2 a.m. for- <gasps> Oh my god, I don't know how you deal with it. Alright. Well, go to bed, Stinky. We're gonna go raid Zest. He's having a community night, so if you guys like Space Station 13, well, this is the game for you. Have a good night, everyone, and a wonderful weekend. A good day tomorrow.